Nothing, nothing like, like an AMF. I don't like think that those sen- that sentence has never been said. <laughs> Bro, nothing Drink, like it, man. Drinking an AMF like it's bourbon on a <laughs> or whiskey like a cold like a iced whiskey <laughs> or whiskey on the rocks. Yeah, no, this is just like it's like a com- dude. And nobody says this, but like <laughs> it's I a com- like it. It's, it's a like comfort a nice, drink. It's a nice comfort drink, man. Welcome to another episode of Around the Bar. It's a show where I invite somebody on for a drink and a chat. Today, we have Alec Castillo, or better known on the interwebs as Asai. He's a professional content creator, streamer, podcaster, oh, and a world champion in Guitar Hero and the Rhythm Games community. You've probably seen him playing some absurdly difficult songs on TikTok or social media, or maybe just playing some absurd songs in general. Today, we are drinking AMFs, or better known as Adios, mother lovers. You know what I mean? All right. It's a half ounce of vodka, half ounce rum, half ounce tequila, half ounce gin, half ounce blue carousel, two ounces of sweet and sour, a cherry, and some lemon lime soda to top it all off. It's a crazy thing to drink at noon on a Tuesday. We've also revamped the Patreon. If you want to listen to an additional hour of the podcast, head over and check it out, as well as two additional shows and also some other features. It's a great time. Check it. It's in the description or whatever. Patreon.com slash Around the Bar Podcast. Thank you guys so much for supporting. And I'm drunk, dude. Thank you guys so much for supporting and enjoy this conversation with Asai. All right. Welcome back to another episode of Around the Bar. Today, we have my man Asai. Asai. <laughs> yeah, you know, you can say, you, no, honestly. Or cheers. I said check. <laughs> like like we're playing check. chess. I'm already drunk. Mm-mm-mm. Nothing like an AMF, bro. Nothing, nothing like, like an AMF. I don't like think that's, those sen- that sentence has never been said. Bro, nothing drink, like it, man. Drinking an AMF like it's bourbon on a, it's, or whiskey, like a cold, like an iced whiskey, <laughs> or whiskey on the rocks. Yeah, no, this is just like, it's like a, com- a dude. And nobody says this, but I like, it's I a, like it. It's, it's a like comfort a nice, drink. It's a nice comfort drink, man. You know, shit's crazy. If you don't know what an AMF is, it's a Long Island iced tea with another liquor in it. That's what it is. It's the most liquor-based drink with more liquor in it. Right, and I, I consider myself like fairly lightweight, too. <laughs> That's no, when you we're said, out here. When I texted you, I said, all right, what's your cocktail of choice? And you said an AMF. I was like, oh, okay, okay, cool. I'm, I mean, I'm always down to run it. Whatever the guest wants, but I was like, one P, we're, we're we're filming at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. So AMF. Like, no, like 1 p.m. is like, that's not bad. That's adios time. That's adios time <laughs> on a Tuesday. <laughs> on a Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, no, like I, w- I was saying like, this is like the first mixed drink that I had after I turned 21. Yeah. And it was like TwitchCon 2017. I met up with one of my boys at the hotel nearby and he's like, yo, you should check this out. It's called adios. Yeah. And I was like, I drank. It's like. How much alcohol is in this? It's like there's like six different alcohols. Yeah. I'm like, that's insane. Mm-hmm. And I had a Long Island iced tea when I was in Russia when I was like 18. <laughs> and it was legal to drink when I was 18 right. in Russia. And that shit tasted like garbage. You know <laughs> so what it's I mean? the blue carousel that so does. It's, 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 yeah. It's, is that how you say it, Matt? Blue carousel? Blue carousel? I have no yeah, idea. Okay, 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 okay. Blue carousel. <laughs> but like, yeah, no. I don't, I don't drink often. And yeah. so it's like when I do, it's these nice... Strong fruity, oh, strong beat. fruity drinks, strong fruity type beat, or like a Seagrams, you know what I mean? Yes, yeah, like, yeah, or White Claw, you yeah, know, just like something light simple. Stuff, light simple. Stuff. I don't drink all the time, you know. So, I, yeah. I don't either, as as surprising as that may be. I, I don't, really? I, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't, I usually don't drink, but I like, I like the idea of social drinking, mm-hmm. having a drink, having a chat. See, it's always fun. Like the, it's like the hot ones gauntlet, bro. It's like, here, <laughs> here we go. Yeah. This is where it becomes like, oh, okay. how, how are you feeling? Like- you've, you've turned it into a hot ones gauntlet. <laughs> Usually it's just people drinking. But if we're if we're drinking AMFs, I'm down. I'm down to do whatever. We we got a little food in our system before we started. So. Yeah, shout out to Hitch for getting, getting me some food before this. Yeah. I woke up at like 9, and then I just all I had was caffeine in my body and water. I can't believe. Water, caffeine, you know. <laughs> and, and an AMF. And AMF. Now I have chips and guac in my body. There we go. No. At least, yeah, at least there's something. Yeah, there's something in there, man. 
<laughs> nah, but you know like what the grind is about. You just like you're always going. You're yeah. always doing something. Yeah, like, you're yeah. messaging me last night and be like, oh yeah, well, I'm stoked for this. And then I get the Twitch notification. Big vibes live. <laughs> Dude, that's been my Twitch notification. For I know for like years. a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so like I, I see you doing stuff and then you go <laughs> live. And then you're just always locked in. You're always, you're always just yeah. It's, you're always just going. It's fun. I, I we were just talking about this in the in the other podcast I was doing. Um, Pomage said, you know, I do a lot of shit outside of this shit. And and we were, I was because he like has a hockey team and he's you know he's got like a his love his love life is in Canada and everything and I was thinking about it and I was like I do a lot of shit in this shit <laughs> like yeah. like it's yeah, just like heavily involved back and in front yeah, of yeah the there's just a lot I don't know I just dove I just dove all in and this is what's the result of it but I I have a blast every every single day as stressful as it can be I do have a blast yeah and I, I was just kind of like thinking it's just like kind of the workaholic mindset as a content creator or it's just like in the gaming space you know um i think you i know yeah in a in a way i i used to be work i used to be work or nothing like mm -hmm. no time for no vacations work so hard i forgot how to vacation as austin yeah. posty yeah. would say uh um, and then like, you know, I was watching Casey and I stat vlogs and he tatted like do more or whatever, work harder or something on himself. Yeah, exactly. And so I'm like, that's me. That's what I want. And that was yeah. me for a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, then I found a girl who's not like that. And so now I'm kind of more mellow, that's but, good. but I still want, I, I mean, I still, I still try really, really hard. I, I'd, I'd like, you know, I'd like to to make everything as best as possible, like in all the different avenues. Yeah, I mean like, cause you and I both know, cause we're like, we've been making content, gaming content for decade plus. Yeah, which know, is weird. Long ass time. <laughs> and so like, I feel like we're on the same wavelength here. Maybe not doing the exact same stuff, but like you know what it's like coming from the bottom and just like kind of cruising your way slowly up to the top or just like one day, it's just like. <laughs> Except you hit the top. I never hit the top. <laughs> <laughs> You've hit the top of your community. I haven't, I haven't I, even touched the top. No, I, feel, I feel like it's just always been steady. Yeah. You know, as, as much as a 40 million view video on YouTube <laughs> that only made me $50. <laughs> that was good. That was going to be one of my questions. Right? Yeah. yeah like, you know, it, it kind of goes out the window. Um, yeah. I should, I should be expecting to get paid for this stuff and this yeah. and this. But it, what, what kind of... What, Hold on, I'm just trying to gather my thoughts here. I think I'm just trying to say, no matter what, like even 99% of my videos get copyright claimed. Right. And you know that I do everything solo. Yeah. I don't have a producer. I don't have an editor. No manager. No manager. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, loosely a manager yeah. that deals with outside stuff. But when it comes to like my vision and my content and stuff, it's just, this is what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm doing it. I see the vision. I'm going to do it. So like, you, you know exactly what that's like, but then... No, no monetization, you know, 40 yeah. million, 10 million, you know, yeah, back yeah. to back like types of videos. I feel like, you know, the stuff that I was releasing five years ago was just like <sighs> right. insane. And I'm just kind of on my own wavelength now. I'm doing my own thing. And, <clears throat> and you know, it, it's kind of opened my eyes to other people who are trying to do the same thing yeah. now. It's so different than it was 10 years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So different. It's, I mean, you... You can always tell when somebody gets into it because they love their art or they love exactly. their game in our scenario. Yeah. And I think very few people on this planet love their game as much as you love your game. Bro, yeah. <laughs> is, it a, is, it, is it a love or is it a curse? <laughs> I, I, my brother got me Guitar Hero. Yeah. Well, no, he bought Guitar Hero because he played it at GameStop. Mm -hmm. And then it was a line outside of GameStop and just to play the demo for the game. Yeah. You guys remember going to demos at GameStop? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know? I remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Midnight releases and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I miss it. I miss it. But he picked it up. This is like November 2005. And he picks it up and he brings it home. I'm like, this is all right. This is not that bad. Like, I went in to go try it myself and they had a lefty mode. I'm left handed, but okay. I, I played the game righty. Right handed. Because. With your left, okay. Yeah, because okay. like my left dominant hand is taking care of all that fast, right? Yeah, going yeah. On and all that, and then I tried it lefty. I played Iron Man. I'm like, this. I don't know if I like this. I'm not sure if I like this a lot. Yeah. And then my brother brought it home, and then I just tried it the normal way, and I was like, you know what? I can I can probably get down with this. Yeah. And then the rest is history. 
and then here we I are. I don't think I ever put down the game. <laughs> I never took a break from the That's game. That's so crazy. Unless I was like doing bad in school and no video games. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No video games for X amount of time. Or, you know, mm. hey, you got to give it up for Lent. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> you gotta I know exactly. Give it up for talking. Lent, exactly. Yeah. And, and so those were the longest periods of time that I didn't have with Guitar Hero. Wow. Everything else. I've just never stopped playing it. Then never can, never once was I just like, I hate this. Yeah, never, never once. once. Never grew out of it or anything. Never. That's so that's so awesome because it's it's such a iconic gaming series. Right. Everyone knows Guitar Hero. Yeah. Everyone knows Rock Band. Yeah. But you have made a career out of it in such a difficult way. I mean, it's it's great to to make content on any video game. Yeah. But we all found or the generation before me all found ways to monetize it. They found a way to get paid. They found a way to make it as a living. There's Call of Duty, Halo, and then all the way up to Fortnite and where we are today. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can't do that when all the content is other people's music. Yeah. <laughs> so how the hell so, do you do it? What do you do? You know, I yeah, I, I talk about this a lot. I'm sure you do, when yeah. like people when people ask me about like yo, what what'd you do when you get started? And so, man, it. And I feel like, yeah, yeah no, I'll, I'll get into it. But when I, when I was first starting to just post more on YouTube and just like post videos and stuff like that, um, I had the mindset of just like, there's no shortage of crazy, awesome content. So I'm just gonna like post a video a day. And I did that for like a year straight. I posted one video a day. Video a day. And it was just like, maybe it wasn't a year straight, maybe it was like 200 days straight. Yeah. And then, um, but that, that was it. I would get on, I would make the video that day, upload it same day. And that's, that on. was it. And so, and then from that, it started streaming. But what it was is that I was speeding up songs from the game to like 150 speed, 175% yeah. speed, 200, 300, maybe sometimes like the 400 speed. And it would just be stupid crazy for like two, three minutes. And then I just upload that. And then it wasn't just me. I had like two, two of my other friends at the time. And they were just like, yeah, let's just, let's just go grind for stuff. Yeah. Let's just go for clips. Let's just go for, go yeah. for videos. And just yeah, like, yeah. cause they were doing the same thing too. It's like, all right, I'm going to post every day. It was, yeah, me, Randy, Mega Pang. And that's what we were doing. We we're just making a video a day, and the speed ups is what got me around the copyright at the time. Because you oh, speed up the song, you it doesn't speed sound like the regular song. Wow, that's genius! And it wasn't, it wasn't like, yeah, you know, I pitched it up too. It was like pitched up audio, so it sounded like a chip, like oh, uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks, yeah, you know, type beat. And then <laughs> it would be like two, three thousand, two, like one to five thousand views a video, and they were monetized, and I had like nine thousand subscribers, eight thousand okay. subscribers, maybe, and I was like, oh, that, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, and then like the one hundred dollar YouTube check hit, and I'm like, shit. Like, I really got it. I really got it. Yeah. yeah let's Guac do on it. me, everybody. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I was buying. And, you know, Olivia and I were uh, long distance. My wife, Olivia, and um, she was just like, yo, can can you send me six dollars for a Chipotle burrito? And I'd be like, I got six. You. I, I'll send you ten. How about <laughs> that? <laughs> get yourself a large. Get yourself a large Coke. Get yourself some chips and guac, baby. Like, you know, you know what's up. You know who you with. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, and uh, we would like Snapchat each other money like that. <laughs> it was crazy, dude. That's great. <clears throat> long, long distance was that's a whole another different thing. Long distance oh, relationships. Yeah. I, I, I'm in one. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, understand. Man. Yeah, like, <clears throat> you know, and then I think we had met he met each other in high school and mm -hmm. talk. And then she got out of a relationship. We started talking again. I was like, oh, you're in Maine. We can't really meet up or whatever. Right. And, and you know, and then we got, you know, the connection grew. Yeah. Stayed at her place for like three months. We went to and a you haven't left. Yeah. Haven't left. <laughs> yeah. Haven't left. Never I put down guitar. Girl, yeah. Never left Maine. Never left Maine. Nah. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Just, yo, for those of you out there in long distance relationships, it is rare, but it works out. It, it does. Out. It does. Mm-hmm. I can break that. I can break the love, bro. That's, <laughs> that's, that's adorable. That is yeah, adorable. man. I on mean, the back, you got on on your wedding invitations. On the back of it, did it say, "Through the fire and the flames, we carry on"? No, 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 no. <laughs> but listen, my, one of my best men 
uh, he he's like, <laughs> you, your love will guide you through the fire and flames. I'm like, you're crazy for that. That's so you're good. You're crazy for that. But yeah, that one of my so best men, he said that in his like in his in best speech? man speech, and I was like, that's great. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> and he's never left my brain. I Howard, love it. Some, I, I'm glad I called that. I don't, I don't know where no, that you were, Yeah, no, for real. No, it did play a part. <laughs> so so you're, you're speeding up these songs because I just assumed, which I'm sure is the case, that you speed up the songs to make them harder so that people... Yeah. People yeah. see you tap tapping away. Yeah. Um, but that also gets you around the copyright strike. Did, is, does it still get you around it or no? No. No, they no. fixed it. So, you know that song, Hotel California? Yes. Can Eagles. you pull your mic up real quick? Oh, yeah. You know that song, Hotel California? Dang, yeah, by Eagles, it. bro. It's like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the dude who wrote it is super protective over that song being used in anything. What's his like, name? I think it's like Don, Dan, Don, Don Henley. Henley. Don Henley. Henley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and he, he will like literally go on YouTube or like send no somebody way. to go to YouTube and manually find people who are playing Hotel California and mute the video. What? Yeah. And so I'm here with a Hotel California double speed, 100% video, and it gets manually blocked everywhere. Wow. And I'm just like, yeah, you know what? Maybe Hotel California is not it. Yeah. Can't play any more Eagle <laughs> can't, songs. Can't be doing any, any, any more Eagle songs, which <clears> sucks. It's like. Hotel California, like it's how? A, it's a, one of the best solos. Like, yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so good. But yeah, no, and it, it didn't work for everything. And yeah. like that was kind of like my whole shtick when I was coming up. And it, I, it was like me sprinkling in little bits of my personality into mm -hmm. it too. And so it'd be like, oh, maybe I'd watch this guy live. And so I'd keep on uploading every day. And when YouTube used to allow it, you could upload a live on Twitch or a live now oh video that was God. like five seconds. Five seconds long. Yeah. But like now, it. yeah. And then you delete it or unlist it afterward, but you can't do that now. They, they like, they like made rules against it. Really? Uh, in terms that. of service, like what, like five years ago, something like that. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. I remember. Yeah. That was when the subscription box worked. Yeah. <laughs> I, and would, now it's, I would now see it's like, Hutch, Hutch's video would pop up and say, Hey, I'm live on Twitch. Like, exactly. Okay. Yeah. No, for everyone like that. <laughs> and, now, now it's a for you page. Yeah, it's a recommended every mm. internet website. Is every a for internet you website page. is a for you page. <laughs> Twitter, Instagram. There's, you know, it started with TikTok though, which I'm know. sure it has bad. It ha I mean, it definitely has its bad sides. The for you page, but it also allows people to get 40 million views on YouTube sometimes. Exactly. <laughs> That's a see. You know what the crazy thing is? Yeah. I didn't tag that video at all. There are no tags. No tags. When it first came out, I was not putting tags on my videos. Yeah. Because I thought they were useless. I And I would do that upload challenge. Now, now it's definitely useful. Yeah. Because they changed the algorithm. They yeah, changed yeah. it. And I was told about this because I, like, I started uploading. I was like, where are all the people like? Where would they go? Yeah. <laughs> what I just happened? had 40 million. Where did. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, I'm not sitting here be like, oh, yeah, I'm owed 40 million views. No, yeah, I, for yeah, sure. I yeah. have like a 40 million view video. But it was like. We're like barely cracking like a thousand in like a couple hours. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. What, what happened? But then it also opened my eyes to all these different platforms that people have to you know watch content now. Yeah. You know, you have the, your vertical content, you have your horizontal content on like six different websites now. There it is. It's, it's everywhere. Nuts. It used to be just YouTube and Twitch or YouTube and like own.tv yeah. or like Justin TV or and, Vine or Vine. Yeah. yeah. It used to be like that. It was just YouTube was definitely the one. And then there was just some random streaming website that everyone would go to. Yeah. Nobody was watching. Nobody was watching videos on Daily Motion. Nobody was watching videos on all that stuff. But now, you know, it, it wouldn't be surprising if you know. Now we have like oh. we have Kick, we have like Rumble, we have all these all these insane, you know, Dude, there unhinged are, websites. There are yeah, unhinged. <laughs> there are the millionaires uh, that just make Facebook videos. Yeah. And we'll, I don't. I, you, we have no idea who they are. But they no. I mean, uh, it's uh, AI generated for all we know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, uh, my girlfriend's a body painter, and so she was, she was like one of the first on YouTube. Really good YouTube career. Yeah. And then the, um, she also posted. My wife on, used to watch her in high school. Really? Yeah. And so she was like, <laughs> "Is that made you look next to me?" <laughs> I was like, that's I was so like "Yeah, that's her. Yeah, that's you know." <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she was like, "I used to watch her in high school. That's, that's crazy." Awesome. <laughs> you know. So it's it's funny how that goes around. But yeah, yeah, yeah keep and, going. And her and. In her community, or in in the in not no, not so much her community, but the beauty community mm -hmm. with like uh, makeup and stuff, um, they uh, there's a huge chunk that's on Facebook, and they mm -hmm. make, I mean, 
dumb views on Facebook because there are so many moms out there. There are so many, and they're all on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. And, like, you know, the gaming community has migrated to, like, TikTok and, True. and Instagram shorts. You know, they're not watching commentary videos of no, no face cam nope. of you dropping, you know, 115 domination on high yeah. rise. They're not doing that anymore. <laughs> they're not. They're not. You know? Unfortunately. Um, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was goaded. It was I would, fun. I would it was a great time. That, I would just throw that on, and then I would be playing Modern Warfare 3 myself. Yes. Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Black Ops 1, man. The Black Ops 1 time was crazy. Yeah. Like, I, that I, that I, was, like, peak. I saw every I once like, in a while. You still, you still uh, throw it up on stream sometimes. Yeah. I, yeah. I was maybe a couple months ago at this point. When but. He, uh, I got it. I, I was throwing it up on stream because you were streaming Modern Warfare 2. You're like, dude, the servers got fixed. We're out oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, when that, yeah. When that whole thing happened <clears throat> and everyone's like, yeah, I got to buy an Xbox Series X now and, and get it and hop on this. And so I was like streaming Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 2 for like yeah. a little bit because I was like, damn, we really want these good times back, don't we? That's what, that's what we do. That's what we do. And like, <clears throat> that is what we do. I'm yeah. still playing Guitar Hero 10 years after it yep. died <laughs> and now it's getting revived by Fortnite. You know, of all yeah. things. Of yeah. all things. Of all, all things. But yeah. And so, so I've always felt like Guitar Hero, <clears throat> kind of like Pokemon cards in a way, where like <laughs> everyone remembers the Pokemon cards, like yeah. the base set, base set two, all those cards. You go, you get your Charizard, and then a lot of people forget about their childhood cards. And then there's a whole segment where some people still are in love with it, and and there's this niche group of people, and then it comes back around, and the people that have been grinding the Pokemon cards all these times they make a huge name for themselves because they never stopped. And that's how yeah. you get these big Pokemon card streamers and YouTubers. Yeah. Is, do you, do, have you felt that in Guitar Hero? Like waves of yeah. popularity? I, you know, I, I, I definitely feel that. I feel like this is the first time I've ever felt the wave like come, rushing, come up. Oh, really? Come rushing again. Okay, okay. You know, because like the first time that I feel like I ever got like a big breakthrough on YouTube or whatever, I didn't even show my face in this video. Okay. I was playing a Skrillex song and it was it was insane and it was like a crazy crazy chart and I titled it something stupid yeah. and then in like 3 months it got like 2 million views. Wow. And I had never known that in my life. I had never known the I mean I had known like how things went viral and how things like catch on and stuff like that. Like, I went viral on Tumblr once, not for Guitar Hero. For it, was, it was for like a it was like a some photo that I took. Sexy like, photo. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, let's just, let's say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It was it was like some maybe some maybe some people remember it, but like I took a panoramic photo and then it like changed color in the middle of the panoramic photo, and it was a crazy crazy ass like um, picture. It was like at a concert, and I was just like, you know, let's just see what happens. It changed lighting mid in okay. between, and then I like posted it somewhere, and it just went insane. Okay. And then, I, I don't even know, it was like 100,000 notes on like Tumblr or some shit. I'm like, I was the dude who made that. Yeah, that's like, cool. That's my picture. That's my picture. That's awesome. <laughs> that's great. And then, you know, time passed. You know, like, I wanted to be a photographer before I went into like, okay. making, making content and doing streaming and all that stuff. And so I was like, that's a sick ego boost, mm -hmm. man. I feel like I can do all that. And then I, I figured out that photography costs you like $5,000 to set up. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I don't, I don't have, I don't have all of that at all. There's no there's no mm -hmm. way I can get my start in that. But what do I have? I have Guitar I Hero. Have Guitar Hero. I have all that stuff. And I'm still playing it at the time. You know, I didn't never stop. Yeah. I said that earlier. But, um, and then, so I was just like, I sat down. A buddy of mine introduced me to OBS because I was using some scuffed shit to record at the <laughs> time. I was using like fraps. I was using, uh, yeah, like, using fraps. fraps I remember to fraps. record. <laughs> yeah. Or uh, if I was on Xbox and I'd use the old uh, HD PVR one. Yeah, the hop hog. Yeah. yeah. Before it went all gamer and all that <laughs> stuff. It had the blue light and it was loud when yes. you turned it on. Yes. The component cables, man. There's so like, many the cables. Old, the old heads are going to appreciate this. Yeah, one, absolutely. Man. And I still have that. I, you I still have your I still have my hop hog, dude. I sold mine, man. I wish really? I yeah. I need to buy one. I got one. I got as a Christmas gift when I was like 15, and <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Dad, please, I need, I really want this Hop Hog HGP." Yeah. And the scene was dead; it was absolutely deader than dead. The last game came out, and the only people that were holding it together were people making like custom songs and stuff like that right. for the game. And, it, and that kind, that era just kind of just started. Um, so now the whole franchise is in both, like, just the community's hands at, yeah. at that point. No official like. You know, the company that made Guitar Hero, Activision, Neversoft, Neversoft, you know, uh, um, made Call of Duty Ghosts, and then they just crumbled. They're like, no oh, more. Okay. Or they went to, like, Vicarious Visions or something. They, they went down the COD pipeline. Okay. And so 
that was the last we ever saw a Guitar Hero. The people that made Rock Band didn't do anything for like five years, right? And then they made Rock Band Four, and it was like it was like underwhelming to say the least. Like the whole okay. the whole like kind of era of Guitar Hero and Rock Band kind of just ended very recently because they were still releasing add-ons for the that Rock Band Four game that came out in 2015. They on were the, still releasing on stuff. The Wii? No, no, no. This is on, this is on Xbox One. Xbox One, okay. This is on Xbox One and like PS4. Okay. And so this is like the new gen. We're making a comeback. Okay. Uh, rock Band game. Um, and so they've been releasing downloadable content for that game until a couple months ago. Really? And wow. Done. Yeah. I mean, that's a run, though. That's a run. That's six that's years. A crazy yeah, run. Yeah. A lot longer than that, actually. Jeez. It's, I can't believe it's 2024. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah, that's. I, I didn't realize it was. I thought I thought it had all ended, but no, they were still pumping out um, content. The problem was is that no one was making controllers for the game. Oh, uh, okay, you know, okay. Plastic guitar, plastic drums. Where's all that at? Yeah, you know, it, it, and you could buy it digitally, so people were seeing it on, you know, like the the Xbox store, the PlayStation store, and they're like, I want to buy this. I I remember playing this from my my childhood. Yeah. What instruments work with it? And then they go type it up. And they're selling like band kits for eight hundred dollars. Yeah, dude, it's so expensive. Eight hundred dollars, and then controllers themselves are like two hundred dollars. Yeah, and they've been used. Right. <laughs> or if you're on PlayStation, you need the little dongle, the receiver with it. Yeah. And the guitar is like one hundred and fifty dollars, no dongle. Yeah. You get the dongle, eighty dollars. <laughs> it's like. <sighs> yeah, it's it's just all. I mean, it, that was a problem in. I feel like I talk about Smash in every podcast, but that was a problem in Smash for a while. Yeah. Was no, there was no GameCube controllers. Yeah. New games were coming out. There was no GameCube controllers, and so when Smash Four came out, and they they realized that, and they made the little adapter, yeah, like, and Nintendo was like, "Oh shit, maybe we do like money," and so they, <laughs> they put out they put out GameCube yes, controllers, exactly. and they're, they're like okay, they're, they're like, all okay, right, they're all right. It's nothing to the level of like what most of the pro Smash players have, like yeah. notches and right, right, right. And all the. Um, and now you have like. I don't know, a handful, like probably 50 plus people that make custom controllers. Exactly. And that's what people buy. See, and that's where we're at right. with Guitar Hero and Clone Hero right now. JP um, made the guitar for, uh, or helped, ma helped make the guitar for off season yeah. with the help of Guitars and Scarves as well, doing the uh, the artwork for it, which was absolutely insane. Incredible for it the trophy. It was so good. Yeah. And it was like a trophy guitar that was also like a really beast guitar at the same time. But like hours and hours of research just went in, just individual models. Lines, no executives, nobody. Yeah. It's just independent. It's just them doing it. Doing it. And yeah. then they just got like a little trade secrets here and there. Right. You know, maybe they're, they're going to tell somebody about this or they want to be that guy for <laughs> yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Hey, I got this new switch working and yeah. I got these new parts. Um, you know, but that that's where we're at right now. We have multiple people making like custom you gotta, you gotta tell, controllers. You got to tell J JP, right? You got to tell him to keep going. Yeah, because, no, he is, man. He's he's because, on that grind. Uh, he's on it. I was a very, uh, you know, we, we all know the story of of Duncan from Scuff. He helped make a Scuff controller, and now he's a good billion, a gazillionaire. <laughs> he's a quawillionaire. I don't know. Quawillionaire. It's insane, <laughs> and you know. So who knows? What With was it like? I, I remember like. Drake co-signed for Scuff Controller at some point. He's like, yeah, I got one of those. I got Did one. he really? It was like when he was streaming with Ninja in like 2018. Like, oh, He's like, scuff. yeah, I got a couple of those Scuff Controllers. Yeah, that's why. And then it's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, no, I like we're, we're kind of just reaching a, a point now that everybody knows about what custom controllers are. Right. Like there's, there's this guy that makes, um, there's multiple guys actually. They make just like drop in guts for the controller. Right. So you just go find one. You know, like the ones that you guys provided to uh, the off season, and like they was like overstrumming or like wasn't working or the frets weren't working or yeah. whatever. Ideally, you just open up the controller, you rip everything out, and you put these new stuff in, brand new. Yeah, it's like it feels brand new, wow. and it's got this un unbreakable stuff. The now the frets have light up RGB. Yeah. Um, 3D printed buttons with mechanical frets. Yeah, the strum bar will never never break that type stuff, um, and so yeah, uh, we're we're kind of at that point where we just have stuff like that, and we have people selling, you know, um, you know, like what JP does. He just makes like the really nice controllers, that type of thing. Right, and there's people who are 3D printing full bodies. That's and, so and stuff like that, and like it's not as efficient yet because you know, 
it, it's this, it's a guitar controller. It's got to be like this right. this long and yeah. this big and all gotta, that. The difference between that and like Smash controllers, Smash controllers, you could get like a cast mold for that mm -hmm. and all that, and it's cheap or it's you know cheaper than it would be if it were a Guitar Hero controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be hundreds and thousands of dollars for the Guitar Hero controllers to be made. Yeah, and that's that's where we're kind of stuck. But now that we have Fortnite Festival. And we have a resurgence of this genre. Yeah. I'll be in a very strange way. I mean, I still fuck with it. I think yeah, Master yeah, yeah. Chief playing Kendrick Lamar is insane. <laughs> I think that's that's absolutely insane. Like canonically. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Or yeah, no. It, the 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 examples can go on and on. But then they're like adding a strumming mode to the game. And so it's just gonna be straight up guitar hero. So for those that don't know, explain the Fortnite. Because I yeah. actually didn't know this until this morning. Yeah, okay. So like Fortnite they acquired the company that made Rock Band. They originally developed like the first three Guitar Hero games, one, two, and Rocks of the 80s, um, Harmonix. So they, they got them in like 2021. Wait, Har Harmonix, Harmonix made the first three Rock Bands? Uh, or the first three Guitar Heroes? Yeah, they made Guitar Hero 1, 2, and Encore Rocks of the 80s. And then they... And then they dipped because that was all their contract allowed and they weren't going to be under Activision. They didn't want to wow. do that. Wow. And so they took, they took themselves... And they were partnered with Viacom and, and MTV. Okay. And they made Rock Band. That's so cool. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, no. And people get it confused because the games look the same. Yeah. It's the same, it's the same premise. Green, yeah. red, yellow, blue, orange. You're playing a fake guitar controller. Yeah. And you're playing these songs just like this, and it works the same way. You know, to the you know, just to the naked eye. Right. But there's obviously a lot of technical technicalities, and you know, we were talking about this before we went on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like. At surface value, it's like Guitar Hero and Rock Band. They're the same game, but then people are just like, "Oh, I like this about Guitar Hero more. I like this. I like this about Rock Band more." I think like Rock Band just kind of, um, with you know, the expansive library that they had of DLC, yeah. it, it reached like three thousand, four thousand tracks, all DLC. Good lord. Yeah. Okay. And that's on top of it, like games that already had like ninety songs in it. 80, yeah. It's like 70, 80, 90 songs in it. And then you just add on to that library is a perfect party game. But the problem was is that Guitar Hero was just making game after game after game after game, not doing DLC. Like they did do DLC, but their library yeah. <laughs> probably only reached like 500. The Activision Five, way. 600, yeah, the Activision way is just killing game after game, <laughs> game, game after game after game after game. <laughs> they could have afforded a two year skip for sure. Yeah. yeah Absolutely. Yeah. How about a, like a no year skip? They could have stopped with like, you know, um, the guitar hero that had like Haley Williams, Ozzy Osbourne in it, and World mm -hmm. Tour. They could have just stopped there and then just kept on adding stuff to it. But no, they nope. just wanted to keep on, keep on keeping on. Yeah, yeah pump out sixty dollars, fifty dollars games back then. Yeah, it was fifty dollars games back then. Yeah, yeah now it's seventy. Now, now it's seventy. Now it's seventy. It is seventy, isn't it? It oh is. My God. Bro, like, <laughs> like what was it? Like, I, I bought Elden Ring for seventy dollars. Elden Ring's worth it. That's though. worth it, though. <laughs> I, I, I would never pay, I'd it. pay. Se I'd pay seventy for that DLC that's coming out this yeah, year. Yeah, I, I never played it, but Elden Ring looks like it was made with soul. It looks like it was made with with. Good pun. That was a good pun, by the way. Oh, was it? Soul, Dark Souls. It's Dark, Dark Soul. Game. It is. Yeah, You're, I thought of that. That's why. I <laughs> Sorry, I'm a dad. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm still still working it out. Three years in the game. I'm still figuring it Three out. Three years in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it, I feel like Elden Ring is like one of those games where it's like, okay, this is a game. Like this, this feels like an old school game in just the fact that exactly. it was made with love, and it was made to be challenging. There's no DLC. There's no pay to win. There's no, no microtransactions. microtransactions. You None pop of that. the game in and you hit play and then you play. <laughs> and then you play, and right? And that's gaming. That's yeah. what gaming used to be. And now, dude, you, uh, trying to get into, trying to log into, I, I, we played Fortnite like six months ago. And when I hit start game, I think 13 menus popped up. Yeah. Do you want to buy Master Chief? Do you want to buy Do you want to buy Lady Gaga? Do you want to buy this and that that and I'm like no Check no out no the new no. Stuff in the shop. No, yeah. You can get this car for this one. It's over you can get here. all these songs Guys, for Fortnite over Festival. Here, yeah. Over here. And and that's and I noticed it and that's being with that being said Fortnite is a good game. But they do that on bad games. Like that hap that model is happening on bad games too. Yeah. Hey guys, before we continue the podcast, I just want everybody to know that we are on Patreon. That is how we are funding the show uh, from now on. So all the behind the bar episodes are moving over to Patreon. Those are all ready, uploaded and available. We also have two other shows for, for some patrons as well. One is the coffee bar, which is basically a weekly podcast with myself. And then 
we also have relationships 101 which is an old classic that is coming back uh we are, we have discord access in there for around the bar you know listeners which is also offers early access to merchandise uh upcoming guests sneak peeks and also some user submitted questions so if we uh if, if you guys like the upcoming guests you can submit your own questions we have tons of other perks as well um and it's all listed down in the description so any support would really mean a lot it would help us you know get some other guests in and and fly them down and drink and talk about stuff so hope to see you guys in there and enjoy the rest of the podcast so i i, I it does i think that's why old heads when i say old heads i mean people that think about xbox 360 days and the xbox original days yeah like we're all just like dude you you pop the cartridge in the n64 and you hit the lever and, and then, then i'm at peach's castle exactly i'm doing a long jump or we're playing on we're beating each other up donkey kong versus yeah, samus, samus on, yeah. on freaking you know Con- in congo Hy- jungle yeah yeah, Hyrule, congo yeah. Ju- yeah hyrule bro yeah, exactly see and it's then like fun. it would take forever to get into a game you know you know, I, I'm already like three, four games into my Smash Brothers you know, on 64 compared to, oh, you're still looking at that advertisement for the Battle Pass. Yeah. You got to hit circle to get out of all of it. For and sure. And queue up and mute everybody. So yep. <laughs> you know, you're, queue not, up. you're not hearing weirdos <laughs> over the mic. Exactly. And then you die when you drop in, in Resurgence. Yeah, exactly. You <laughs> die. Like, and it's bro, just over. It's just over. <laughs> it's yeah. just over. You go back and it's like, oh, that was a bad game. But we have Master Chief over here. Yeah. And we have a new glider if you would like to if you would like drop to in up. get shit on but you look good <laughs> yeah but you look good yeah <laughs> that's uh, that's just check out our subscription service <laughs> exactly like, it's exactly. it's just mind-blowing and now disney owns some of them oh yeah it's like, over it's it's actually over i'm gonna be playing as elsa <laughs> yep yeah you will and- be <laughs> that being said uh, you, uh, we didn't we went down a rabbit hole but yeah, it's fine. fortnite did yeah so release. fortnite did release a rock band game mm-hmm. like and they're were and they're like working closely with people that the that made like the rock band games yeah and they're like like and and most of the most of the guys that they come through to my streams they just like want to see my reaction and stuff and because like in a way the mechanics for the game are very similar to something traditional they could like ddr Mm-hmm. Um, where, you know, like if you hit a note and it's like, oh, that was a good hit or that was a bad hit or that was a perfect hit, right. marvelous hit, good job, you hit that perfectly. Yeah. They like added that to the game. That was never in Guitar Hero and Rock Band. It wasn't? No. Nah. Not not like as like a benefit, but like it's in this game as a benefit. Oh, wow. Like it gives you more points if you're dead on, essentially. See, I didn't, I, I, I never got to play I play Guitar Hero at my friend's house every once in a while. Exactly. That's my yeah yeah. So I, I I wasn't I wasn't aware of that. So what? So how does Guitar Hero work? It punishes you for it just punishes you for missing. Oh, uh, okay. Essentially, I mean, it, we can get into detail with that too. So like if both if both people that are playing and competing against each other hit every note, they tie. Yeah, but the thing is, is like it comes down to using the star power because that gives uh, you that boosts the multiplier the, by two. Yeah, you lift up you lift or up. hardcore players they just hit the select button. Ah. And so that's why they had that's why they had you know the off season guitar. It had the little bridge at the bottom, and so if you hit that bridge, it activates the star power for you. Oh, that's cool. So you don't actually have to lift. Although I did play when I did do competitive guitar hero, there was a guy who did lifting. Yeah, some activations. That guy was a beast. That's a that's a beast move. He, he was a beast, and we're <laughs> playing like System of a Down. We're playing <laughs> BYOB, and he would actually do this, and I'm like, you're insane. And he did that every every time, time? every time. Good and, for him. And also he stood up. Good he stood him. up and played. I think like he was probably one of the best like competitive players. <laughs> just you know, to somebody who's like, look at that rock star right there. Yeah, look at that guy. Yeah, look at that guy. He's playing Guitar Hero the way it was meant to be played. Yeah. He's standing up and he's lifting. Exactly. And yeah. Like what? And I got my ass beat by him a couple of times. <laughs> really? He's very good. He was a force to be reckoned with. I don't remember his name. It's it's funny because for the off season, one of the incentives uh, I didn't do is incentives for Guitar Hero. I don't think because it was our first time doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I, I brainstormed, I was like, one of the incentives was like, for grand finals, they don't get a chair. <laughs> Could you imagine they're up there? <laughs> that would change everything, man. It would change everything. That would change absolutely everything. But I, I, didn't wanna tr- I, didn't, I didn't know how well received it was going to be, and I didn't want to ru- I didn't want to make anybody in the actual community mad. So I was like, ah, let's, let's I wait. Mean, you let's know, wait. like, given the... Uh, 
given the whole aesthetic of off season two with yeah. the being, you know, punk rock and all that stuff. Yeah. And then you guys even did the, you guys even did the, uh, uh, the rock band, the rock band bit with Ace of Bass. Yes. You know, like that was, that was fantastic. That was awesome. And you know, I was like, I was just thinking like, if you did throw that, I would have, I would have asked the players to be like, yo, what do you guys think? Yeah. I, I would have like genuinely thought of a way to, you know, spice it up a bit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I was hearing the same, like five songs for like 12 hours. I can imagine that. Cause was that, so that's that's the thing with competitive guitar hero. It's like you have to make a competitive song list, right. or else people are just going to choose slow ride and smoke on the water and just mm, bah, wait bah, out, bah. wait out a snooze, <laughs> yeah. a snoozer, and then just catch you when you're off, when you, like you're off guard. You yeah, dog down. Um, but like you have to basically the rules of like making a competitive set list. It's like, does it clear these types of skill sets? These types of skill sets. Yeah. Are you strumming a lot? Are you soloing a lot? is the star power like detrimental and then also on top of that we give the players the ability to ban so right. like the, I, i'm sure i think I, I told you about that right mm -hmm. i was like yeah the players can ban and so like most most players were just kind of banning a lot of the solo we stuff because they're like nope i can't do that yeah. can't do that we're not going to do that and um no but I, that's how it worked do you do you remember wcg world cyber games oh does that sound familiar to you yeah um the only reason I know about it is because I think Corey, the guy who produced Off Season, yeah. he's like our our main events guy here. He produces all of our events. I think he produced that or worked with them. I think it was WSVG that he did. Oh, okay. Or, I think it was like World Series of Video Games. Maybe that's maybe that's what I'm yeah, thinking. Because okay. I, I interacted him interacted with him on Twitter and he was like, I did WSVG. And I was like, You did WSVG. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And that that was also like a um, he did a Guitar Hero tournament, like just people rocking out, and it judged them by how good they were doing as a show okay. on top of how, how, yeah, their skill too. Okay. And so we we saw a lot of uh, of like big YouTuber names for Guitar Hero at the time. There's uh, there's this guy named Priest MLH, and he okay. he went on and he was standing up and he's playing the hardest song in Guitar Hero too. And it was like, bro, he's actually clearing this man. Like this is before that before like tapping was like a thing that you did on the regular. But right. he was up there, and he was like he was rocking out rocking like out? playing playing the hardest song in the game. Well, and this what's his name? Can you look him up? Yeah, it was Priest MLH. And I don't know if there's a clip of it on YouTube. You that's, look up WSVG, that's Priest MLH. That's for me, Matt. <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> Formal came over and dropped a Pokemon card off for me. And oh, hell yeah. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Priest. What was it? What was it, Matt? Or what? Was it Priest something? Priest MLH. Priest MLH. And he's just rocking out. Yeah, he's just rocking out. I, I, and I then, like, see this. And it was like the first like high production like almost of... Yeah, you know, like what off season was doing. You know, they're walking on a stage. They have, um, they had like two TVs. There you go, Dallas. This guy, two thousand seven. Yeah, man. Oh my God, look at this potato. Yeah, potato quality. Yeah, it used to be much higher quality back then. It was a <laughs> CRT. Yes, monitors, man. Absolutely. So you just, I guess, just skip ahead. See when he's rocking. Oh, God. All right, man. Well, oh we get sound. Yeah, this tournament also had Freddie Wong. Oh, really? Freddie Wong came out and he did YYZ, which is a video he went viral with in 2006. And he was out here doing this. He, he's mimicking Look at him. the guitarist that made this song, did this riff with like a kill switch on the guitar. So he's yeah. mimicking that as a skill move. But he's also really, really good at the game. And so it was crazy seeing him live doing this. Uh, Tom Morello? Yeah, so look at that. Tom Morello? Is that the. No, no, this is Buckethead. 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 Okay, Buckethead. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. wow. Look at the, the showmanship. Yeah, but like, you know, if we had it, <laughs> if, if off season were to come back a with show Guitar match. Hero, a show match like this with Clone Hero, yeah. can you, like, oh, and we yeah, judge yeah, them yeah. by vibes and yeah. we judge them by skill. By skill. We would have to have a, ju a, ju a judge panel. That's a great idea. Yeah, I think that I think I'll be should, on that judge panel. I think we should. I mean, I think you should be on stage. Yeah, no. But, <laughs> but yeah, judge panel. Okay, we can do a judge. A panel. judge panel. We can do a judge panel. Maybe I'd be on stage. I don't know. <laughs> I think that even flow. That even flow. Uh, uh, showcase is kind of like my my hurrah. That was your hurrah. <laughs> it's kind of like my hurrah. That's what I, I said. I said bringing you out of retirement, and they said no. You're he's not retired, but. I haven't played in a tournament in years. Yeah, no. Wait, so I have another video I want to watch. Can you look up? Uh, Asai, 
uh, world. Gr- what Grand is it? Cha- Grand champion. Like, no, 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 it was like world champion. World champ. World champion. World yeah. champion. This is yeah. This look is, at that. that. This is the Tiger first Games. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's thirteen me. years ago. Look at this. Yeah, bro. Ultimate okay. gamer. No, so. How old are you here? I was 15. 15. I was 15. Uh, and you're the champion you know of what? champion I was four, of the 14 world. 14 or 15. And you're the champion of the world. Champion of the world. This is for Guitar Hero 5. Okay. So, Guitar Hero 5 is like filled with like pop hits. I'm not going to lie. This game was not like you know, it didn't have Dragon Force. It didn't yeah, have yeah, yeah. Buckethead. It wasn't absolutely insane. But it had like Iron Maiden <laughs> and Santana. <laughs> I mean, those and are it those had Iron Maiden, sound like rock Santana bands to me. Had Jeff Beck. It had some crazy stuff. Tom yeah. Petty. You know, with some fun solos in it. But it was not a Dragon Force Guitar Hero game. Uh, listen, man. It sounds like you're trying to downplay the fact that you're a world champion. I understand. I understand. <laughs> but like, I've had a lot of time to think about it. So I'm like, I was the world champion of like probably the worst Guitar Hero game. But it did not to undermine all the work that I put in to get. To this point, to to it's easy. Jeff, Jeff Beck, Beck. Bro, I told you, bro, and Tom Petty, but no, and world famous guitarist Elton John was on there Elton too. <laughs> <laughs> that was not one of the songs. It was my parents, yeah, yeah. And that was not one of the competitive songs. No, right, no, no, no. Right, okay. they had, they had a curated set list, man. Um, yeah. But yeah, dude, you know, my mom got my my um, my like WCG jacket embroidered with my yeah. Username. It has sponsors on it. There's sponsors on it, yeah. Cause so WCG is a Korean company, okay, um, and they were sponsored with Samsung, and so they were like promoting like Asphalt Two or something, <laughs> okay, in 2010, and so they had like the Galaxy Tab like first generation. Dude, this is like the first time I played like League of Legends at this. Uh, okay, they had like a kiosk of it. It was like pre season one League of Legends, but. <laughs> This is this is like a crazy ass time. This is in Los Angeles, um, close to Universal. Is that my, you? Yeah, that's me and my buddy, um, my buddy Greg, right there. He wore his shtick was that he wore uh, um, he wore a, a big ass wig, and that's what gave him his mojo. He was a beast. <laughs> okay, he was an absolute beast. We were we were the two people representing uh, the United States. Okay. at this world because this is a world event. World event. Yeah. And so it was the United States. There's Brazil, um, who also had a really cracked guy. And then from the UK, Yukog Monkey. Okay. And so he was the first one that kind of broke out the whole Guitar Hero content creation scene post death of the whole series. Mm-hmm. And so he kind of paved the way for everybody. I was watching him even before then. Like he was a big name in Guitar Hero in like 2006, 2007, 2008, because he was fucking cracked. Right. But then he broke out in the streaming scene in like 2015, and he was the he had like the he had the personality and the skill. And so I was like, I think I could do that too. I think yeah. I could really do that. And so I took my time and I grinded. And then like, hey, you know, now we're here. Now, now we're, we're here. here. Now we're here talking. Now we're here. We're I'm here talking, talking to a grand. Cha- I'm talking to a world champion. Yeah. <laughs> Fifteen year old Alec is. Uh, <laughs> You know, sh- insane at the thought that you know he's yes. talking about this years later. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, no, like no one cared. My high school, no one, no one cared. I was like, yo, hey, I, I, I wouldn't deem myself as charismatic as I am now compared to where I was back then. Yeah, I guess I was just kind of like reserved. I kind of like I was like, eh, you know, it's it's guitar hero. You know, people right, right. Like, it's whatever. <laughs> but I, I, you know, and it can be confused with like being too egotistical uh, about like achievements and stuff but I, truly at the time i was just like that's really awesome yeah but how I, it kind of set me up for like weird expectations of what i'm gonna do for the rest of my life how am i gonna get girls with this <laughs> i'm gonna get girls with this bro <laughs> i got interviewed by um uh, attack of the show g4 okay, yeah yeah, yeah. It, 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 Oh my god, I forget his name. He's like, how much? And bro, and this is a crazy ass thing to say on TV okay. back then. But he's like, I think I was like thirteen or fourteen. Like, <laughs> how much fourteen year old ass are you gonna get after this, bro? No. He said that on TV. <laughs> you imagine saying that shit now? <laughs> Matt That's loves crazy. That one. Oh, you can't say that now. That's you, like, you absolutely can't say that now. G four would real. get canceled for a third time yeah. if they said <laughs> yeah. that now. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting interviewed by Attack of the Show and I or X Play. I don't remember. Yeah. But I was like on that. I was on that like segment, <laughs> and then I I was just like, that's a wild fucking thing to say. And I was like, I don't think they care. If you can find that clip, that's verbatim what I said. I don't think they care. I don't think they care. No way they asked you if you got. They 14. did. 
<laughs> That's insane. Yeah, it's like, my parents were not stoked about. That. I can imagine. Yeah, no. Were they there on yeah, set? They were, they were there watching because they're like, "Oh, that's G four. You know, that's the that's the guy from G four. You know, we watch G four all the time. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. I mean, maybe they weren't. You know, it was G four. It was still like kind of raunchy and stuff. Oh yeah, some, yeah. At some points in two thousand ten, right? Mm-hmm. So. I mean, like, what were they expecting? <laughs> it's so good. But it, I was just like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't know if we ever fully wrapped up the segment because I'm, I'm loving where we're well, going talking now. Talking about Fortnite Festival. Yeah. yeah so okay. Fortnite Festival released they, Guitar Hero. <laughs> yeah. They, they have, it's a new rock band game, essentially. Yeah. And so that shit's popping off on TikTok. Is it? That shit changed my life. Really? Because you can monetize on TikTok and they pay absurd rates. Okay. On that shit. I, I don't know if you know much about that stuff. Uh, I haven't. Uh, I've been told many times. Uh, we have a TikTok. TST has a TikTok. Around the yeah. Bar has a TikTok. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we haven't gotten into like the creator fund or or the creator. What it's is it? An, it's the creator. Uh, it actually came out of beta like yesterday. It oh, was okay. The creativity rewards program. Rewards program. Yeah, that's. And like that's the thing that's like kind of opening the door for a lot of content creators to be like, I could take this on seriously. Yeah. But there's also a very very big problem with a bunch of slop that gets uploaded and stuff too. It's like. You people just AI generate, and then they, they have Minecraft parkour in the background. Yes, yes they do. <laughs> they have Minecraft parkour in the background, mm-hmm. or Subway Surfers gameplay, Subway Surfers. or Family Guy clips Yes, yes in the background, I which I'm, I haven't seen much Family Guy clips because you know it's copyright, true, all that true, stuff. True. They can't really do that anymore, but I think they're kind of cracking down on that. But, dude, like... <laughs> I, I had videos that had like a CPM of like two dollars. Wow! And you get a million views with that shit. Oh, on on TikTok. On TikTok. How long ago was this? Two months ago. <laughs> oh my god! Three months oh. ago. Two three hey, months ago. That's gu- what I'm saying. Walk like, on me, baby. Yeah, that, <laughs> dude, that's what I'm saying, man. Like that's why I was able to like come out here and like and and like talk with you about this yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. too. You know, it's it, the landscape is very much changing, and content creators need to pay attention to the tools they need to use yeah. in order for them to succeed. Yeah, like you know, people people still believe that it's just YouTube and Twitch, or it's YouTube and Kick. Yeah, and it's not really that's at the moment right now, and it, anything can change because mm-hmm. algorithms be algorithms, right? <laughs> they do be algorithms. They do be algorithming. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> It changes all the time. So you just got to be prepared to change and adapt. Yeah. And with the TikTok ban happening, you know, we have like a year grace period, right? Mm-hmm. Why, why are they signing off on a TikTok bill like so fast? <laughs> like what? what's happening? I don't know. Do they know? I mean, obviously, they probably know something we don't. But like why? There's got to be something going <laughs> there's, on. There's a lot more things you got to worry about than TikTok. Yeah. Unless there's something we don't know. Unless there's something we don't know. <laughs> Unless there's something we don't know. And then that's why they're cracking down on it so fast. But, <laughs> you know, that that being said, people are going to start scrambling to figure out, like, what am I going to start posting to if yeah. this doesn't work out? And that's why I find myself fortunate. I have my Twitch. I have my YouTube right. from, you know. You and know, you just have your, you have your grind too. mentality. I mean, if it's been 10 years and you've been uploading consistently on YouTube and streaming consistently and then also – uploading on TikTok and that's you know you found another form of income through TikTok it's done pretty well or really well in your case then like whatever next comes along you're going to hit that hard too exactly and it's like now I'm looking at Instagram reels and it's like yep. am I ready to see all the sunglass and the car profile pictures call me yes. a bunch of names a bunch of mean <laughs> names <laughs> yeah if you know, TikTok I, dies yes you will be I'm I'm so ready I'm so ready, I'm so ready for that because like also I'm, I've been used to getting like free booted like my content getting stolen uploaded by other right other um you know like meme pages and stuff like that Tumblr yes you know like I had you know the grapefruit technique meme it was like dude it's like this lady that <laughs> I don't want to talk about. No, let's. Dude. Do you know what he's talking about? What, <laughs> uh, talking Matt? About how about you? How about you explain it, Matt? Uh, actually, no, I just forgot what. It you was. forgot what it is. What do you mean? Good. You I just forgot, bro. It, yeah. Uh, so like you. Yeah, let's hear it. It's this lady. Okay. That's like super passionate about this. About her grapefruit. About her grapefruit. Okay. Okay. And she has a cucumber. You see where I'm going with this? I see. I no, I don't. Keep going. Okay, and then she's just like, okay, if you, put, if you cut a hole in the grapefruit, in the cu- in the cucumber, in, in, a hole no, in the no, grapefruit, a hole in the grapefruit, okay, on both ends, okay? on and both, you ha- and you have a hole through it, and then vertically, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, vertical, and then you put, and she's like, if you put it over the cucumber like this, uh huh, and then you know, <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Someone made a buddy of mine made yeah. a meme of the sounds that she was making <laughs> on that grapefruit. And let me tell you how many millions of views that got on some <laughs> Facebook page that doesn't belong to me. Yeah. How many Tumblr notes that mm-hmm. got posted by an account that wasn't me. Yeah. That's when I started watermarking my shit. Yes. I started putting at a side You're, 28 on yeah. my on my videos, like in the middle. So, so that, your buddy should have watermarked the grapefruit video. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. he should have. But I made sure that people knew that he made it. <laughs> to this day, it yeah, seems to like. The, yeah, to this day. Because my buddy, he was like, yeah, you know, when my friend showed me that video, and I was like, ah, I made that. <laughs> I was like, were you proud? And he's like, damn right. <laughs> damn right. <laughs> damn right, right proud. I'm proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. That is yeah, so I had, good. To, I had to explain that shit to you. <laughs> no, I can't I, believe that. I mean, I knew exactly what you're talking about. I, just, <laughs> I wanted to hear, to hear you explain it. That's all it was. Yeah, had to stop with the you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, man. Uh, Matt, can you bring up some of the Fortnite? What is it called? Fortnite Festival. Yeah. Fortnite Festival, Festival yeah. gameplay and and at, you were saying as of now. Oh, this is you playing it. Yeah. So it's so it's just, very hard song. <laughs> not a very hard song <laughs> no but you know it's I, i'm actually playing uh, one of like the original tracks okay this vocal chart you can play like four different instruments it's vocals guitar or they don't call it guitar in this game they call it lead lead okay so that you um it's so that you can play like a piano track or something and it's not like locked to guitar okay so they can they can alternate with that this clip right here i was playing a vocal chart and they make you play a dolphin sound in it Okay. Like like uh you know like SpongeBob censoring, it was literally that exact same. Sound okay, effect. okay. And and so I was like freaking out over it because I thought it was so fucking funny. Yeah. And so um, yeah, no, it's just like the whole layout. It's just Rock Band. Okay. It, it's yeah. Rock Band Guitar Hero and those little triangle notes. Like you have to already be holding down the note and you let go. <laughs> yeah. See, you, you're, the, you're the you're yeah, the dolphin, right? I heard the dolphin. Yeah. Yeah. If you're you're curious about like those little triangle notes, it's like you have to already be holding it down and then you let go and that's the hit. Yeah, it's like a reverse hit note. They call it lift notes, um, but yeah, I mean, you take a look at this and you're like, "Yo, this is a this is a new rock band game, new guitar yeah. hero game, straight up." And it is um, because they got the people from Rock Band working on it. They're gonna start adding like the instrument support for it, so okay. you can actually strum and stuff like that. Because right now, I'm not strumming. You can see. Yeah, you're just. Tapping. I'm not strumming. I'm just tapping. This In, is meant to be played on like a keyboard yeah. or like a PlayStation controller, Xbox controller. So you've Switch ported controller. you've ported your controller. At- to act like a keyboard. Exactly. Okay. okay. Yeah. Like you can like joy to key or right. something like okay, that, yeah, yeah. you know? <clears throat> um, so like I got that set up and so that's like my whole thing. Like right now over on TikTok, I'm kind of just in here, but on Twitch, yeah. like, I'm still, I'm still doing like guitar hero games clone and hero. clone hero and okay. stuff like that. Yeah. Like less, like less clone hero actually. I'm like playing the original games cool. again and like I'm speeding them up within those games. It's um, like, you can do that. Uh, yeah, like with um, with like a custom songs. It's like you you put them in the game. Oh, oh like you okay, mod right. mod the game. So you mod that, the game, okay, so you okay. can add your own songs. Because that's cool. Yeah, I wanted to talk. I yeah, because we were talking about it before. And I was like, yeah, the difference between like Clone Hero and playing the original games. Like you were playing the games at your friend's house. Do you remember what guitar that was? Was that three? Probably three. It was probably three. Yeah. Like already playing that on Xbox, like just straight up on Xbox 360, is still much harder than Clone Hero. Yeah. And so what Clone Hero is for those that for some reason are watching this that don't know about Guitar Hero, it's like basically a uh, seemingly modded version or a, a, br- it's a it's like a, a custom a fan made gu- version a fan of the game. yeah. And and but it's it's optimized for the PC. Yeah. So you can play in a gazillion frames per second. And, and you can put in your own songs and it's extremely easy. Yeah. But yeah, I, we were talking about the uh, um, you know like r- response like input response and like the frame rates and the refresh rates and all that stuff over in in like call of duty or any games like it any first person Mm -hmm. shooters anybody is really benefited by like 144 hertz or 360 hertz now i've seen like 400 hertz monitors come out or 380 hertz monitors come out i'm sure you guys have like seen it what kind of nasa computers are you guys using yeah exactly exactly (laughs) And so it's all about just having the best hardware so that you can make sure. And it's not even like the computer itself. It's like the guitar controllers itself need to be overclocked right. so that they're running at 1,000 hertz. Exactly. Or 500 hertz. You yeah. Know. Like with the PS5 controller thing and people playing Warzone, they would play on PC so that they would have 
uh, a thousand hertz clock so they could like do their turns and jumps exactly. and shoot quicker and it's just like damn it really affected that community too that's crazy oh yeah yeah every community halo i mean it's like that yeah. apex it's like that in every fps that i know of yeah and so now people are finally trying starting to see because we've noticed this since like 2013 2012 night not clone hero but we would play Guitar Hero 3, a PC version of the game, and unlock the FPS so oh, that we would have okay. a better response time. Our controllers were pulling at like 125 hertz, but just the extra frames alone just made so much stuff possible. Yeah. Like, you see the insane stuff that I play, like, that's only possible because I'm playing at 500, 1,000 FPS. Right, okay. Now, when you lock yourself at 60, the inputs start to just start lining up more properly. It's not spread out all over the place. Yeah. And you're allowed to just, okay, I see note, I hit note, depending <laughs> on how fast it is. Um, but at 60, you got to be really, really careful compared yeah. to being at 500 or 1,000. You know, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it's... Especially it's for a game are, that's all about the beat, all about the downbeat. Like Exactly. That has to be important. Yeah. Every millisecond, I'm, I'm assuming, matters, especially when you're doing through the fire and the flames and thang, 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 thang. I mean it's like so many notes so many things and so many things you have to focus on at the same time yeah. and all your techniques you have to focus on yeah. at the same time too so yeah I mean <laughs> and also the way that clone hero works too is that oftentimes you get to see a solo and you could be scared and you'd be like oh how did I hit that I didn't hit any of the buttons in the right order so yeah does clone hero let you do that uh, okay like the rules for so clone hero are much different from you know, maybe Guitar Hero 3 on the Xbox or Guitar Hero 1 and 2. You know, it's it's different. It's and easier? That's, that's, a, that's a problem. Yeah, Clone Hero is the easiest guitar game, like, out there. Okay. It is the easiest game to get set up. It's the easiest game to play. But that's not going to, you know, take away from the fact that people do have fun playing that because yeah. it's, this, it's this, uh, the nostalgia rip of it. It's like you get on, I want to hit the notes and feel my childhood again. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Corey, uh, Whenever I do the off season, Corey, the guy who runs, who produces it, always tries to ask me or tries to get me out of my uh, hard head in this. And so he said, "Hey, I got an idea. We don't have many. We don't have many uh, Guitar Hero three copies or guitars. Let's do Clone Hero." And I was like, "I'll buy every. I'll buy the guitars and the games." Because <laughs> I was like, I don't want it to be. I don't want it. I didn't know all. I didn't know it made it easier or anything like that. I mean, I didn't. I, I didn't end up. I, I bought one game, and then luckily, J, and we got one guitar, and then JP came with five guitars or something that he yeah. custom made. Yeah. So I luckily I didn't have to, but I just didn't want. I didn't want it to be new stuff. I wanted it to be all the old stuff. And See, and like that's that's the thing too. Yeah. It's like it's a new shiny thing. It only came out in tw 2017. Clone Hero only came yeah. out in 20, uh, 2017, and Guitar Hero is like, that's that game. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. that game, 2007, the golden age of video gaming, straight up. Yes. And, like, yeah, you're a goat for pushing Guitar Hero 3, like, continuing to yeah. do that. And I think people enjoyed it. I, I, I do really think people did. enjoyed it. I mean, yeah. I think I think maybe we could do CRTs this year to make it even better. You would be goaded for that. <laughs> I'm serious, dude. Yeah, I think... I'm so serious. We were going to do it last year, but the only CRTs that we had were the PC... CRTs mm -hmm. and the, the screen is like this big, yeah, because they play Smash on it. And yeah. like, I was thinking two, two, two rows, two, two rows is like not great. They, for I mean, that small would of a, be, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, but the low latency monitors, honestly, they're really good. I, I don't remember which ones they were. Were they Ben Q? Uh, they I think so, Asus, yeah, something like that, something like that. But it was really, those were really, really good, like much better than some of the monitors I've ever, like, I yeah. have in my, my house. Yeah, I can imagine some of, I mean, I, 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 I think they played on TV on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Which probably they, they was did. They played on like a TCL, like 44 inch. TV, yeah, which was probably tr that was probably wrong. And so <laughs> I saw that and I was like, oh no, is there a way that they could? But it was already too late. It was already, already too late. Up yeah, there. Yeah. The cameras were already rolling. I was like, oh man, I didn't know that was going to happen. So it, I mean, Finger Quick still pulled through. He was still, he still I mean, beasted. Yeah. He still beasted the 4 0. Mackie did a great job. But yes. Finger Quick was just. I mean, he was insane. Winning. Yeah. He was absolutely insane. And he's another guy that's been playing for like a decade. Yeah. And right. so, yeah, um, he he's always been a beast, I, I think, in the shadows. Because uh, he doesn't really put much videos out on YouTube, I don't think. 
I don't think he does. I'm not. I'm not sure. I, yeah, I, yeah, like yeah. we were talking about it earlier, but I I did rewatch. You watched watch the finals, the off season finals, and yeah. it was just it was cool. It was it was cool to, and the, he has the chat on there too, and yep. the chat was like really loving. I think the chat in some some parts because uh, there's so many things that happen during the off season. At some parts, they're like, okay, when's Call of Duty? Yeah, but during that part, people were like rocking out. That's like, right. Everybody <laughs> knows Guitar Hero. <laughs> Everybody knows Guitar Hero Three, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody knows Guitar Hero Three. It's yeah. like it's always it's always gonna be the first Guitar Hero that everybody thinks about, and that's fine by me. Yeah, it's Black Ops Two for us. Or yeah, Modern Black, Warfare Two. Yeah, Modern Warfare Two, Black Ops Two. Those are mm-hmm. like the goat games. Mm-hmm. Even though I was a Black Ops One and Modern Warfare Three fan, I played yeah. those a lot more. Those are still good ass games. Yeah, yeah. But like, dude, yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. you you understand the the vision of these are what the people want to see. Yeah, I mean, you know? kind of. I, it, I'm glad it's what it is like in Guitar Hero because sometimes in Call of Duty, uh, I I think that people I I, I enjoy Black Ops Two a lot, um, but I think. Some of the new age people are like, "Damn, this 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 is kind of slow now." Like, we kind of okay. want to watch some other stuff. There, there's a parallel to that too, because yeah. you know, if you play Guitar Hero one and two, the hammer ons like like ha- the hammer on mechanic in those games are much different from Guitar Hero three, okay, and cl- much different from Clone Hero, right? So you got these new age kids that like want to try Guitar Hero one and two. Guitar Hero one, the hammer ons don't even work. <laughs> Guitar Hero two, it's just a very strict like timing yeah. maybe it's maybe the parallel is like um being able to slide slide and jump around oh. like the aim assist uh versus black ops 2 versus Warzone aim assist so or different. aiming yeah. the curve is just different like i think i was watching like the black ops 2 invitational and like everybody was aiming differently yeah because you know 360 aim assist so different was so different it was very robotic in a way right it was robotic and it didn't cover all the dead zones and stuff like that but now they have the technology and <laughs> everybody is cracked everyone everyone is cracked it hits perfect shots yeah yeah, yeah. See, and that's the thing with like Clone Hero. It's like it helps you out so much and it makes you look like a god. Yeah. It yeah, makes yeah. you look like a fucking god. And there's like people out there who are like legitimately skilled and they're doing like these crazy clips and stuff. But then sometimes you look at other clips and and it's just like, would that work in like Guitar Hero 3? Would that work in Guitar Hero? No, yeah, it wouldn't. It Absolutely wouldn't. Absolutely not. You wouldn't, <laughs> that's you don't so see, funny. You don't that see happens people, in COD all the time. Yeah, you don't see people in Black Ops 2 because like, you can't slide in that game. It's Dolphin Dive in that game. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. It's Dolphin Dive. You can't, you can't do this fucking wave jump. They're like <laughs> wave dashing now. In, they really in, are. In, in, in Call of Duty. Yeah, they really like, are. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're looking around in, in a circle so they can get more momentum to jump yep. in, a, in a certain degree. Yeah, to yeah. the nth degree. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, and, holy crap. And the, the the different types of aim assists. There's five different types of aim assists now instead mm-hmm. of just plug and play. But yeah. that's and, just gaming as a whole. Everything's just gotten so much more advanced for better or for worse. Yeah, and I, I think that's that's the thing that I, I've come to realize with like Clone Hero. It's got it's gotten really advanced, but you know, you just gotta have settings that just put it to how it used to be. Yeah. And we, we've actually kind of seen that with like a little, uh, there's this like a little open source game that's like Clone Hero. Okay. Um, it's called Yarg. Yarg. Crazy ass name for it. <laughs> okay. I, I like it. I think it's great. People are like, this is ridiculous. You need to change it now. But it's too late. Yeah. So it's like, it was a programming joke because the guy who made it was like, yet another rhythm game. <laughs> Yarg. Yarg. Yeah, we're going to okay. make, this, make okay. this open source game. I'm on game. board now. I'm on board. And yeah, yeah. yeah. So like. And it also has support for singing in the game. Okay. It has support for singing. It's got support for drums and guitar and bass and all of that. And it's just like, that's a perfect, like, full band. It's a Clone Hero experience. Yeah. It's the full band. Okay. Because Clone Hero doesn't have full band. It just has guitar and drums. Right. Guitar, bass, and drums, right? So, like, there's this game. And then the one, this, the great thing that, uh, about Yarg is that it, like, also has these timing window. You can, like, set the timing window. You could set your own rules. Okay. So it's like, okay. You're not allowed to. You're not allowed to do. You're not allowed to mess up. Not even a little bit, and you have to hit it kind of like right on time. Okay. Or you're not allowed to be sloppy here. You know, it's yeah. it's it's crazy. And so you could set the. That's the thing. It's like, what about these Call of Duty games? They need to have is 
be able to set the speed of your sliding or yes. FOV cap it at like 90 <laughs> cap it at like 90 not one not 120 yeah, or something yeah. like that maybe even for like customs right like a, for like a custom session you run like a custom tournament it's yeah. like throwback type rules I think Halo Infinite is doing they have like throwback rules and stuff like yeah, that yeah there's too. like a Halo 3 rule Refueled. set or something like yeah, that I yeah I was I was playing that last night <laughs> actually <laughs> were you really with, yeah with my buddy and we're, we're just like yeah let's get on Infinite because there's just I no think, like, there's no sprint there's like yeah, there's no sprint. Yeah, there's old maps, you know, and stuff, old yeah. maps, and these are the rules that are, are set. But it's like the new game, right? Yeah. So and like that is awesome. Yeah, like, that's awesome to me. And I, I, I hope that with this update with the Halo Infinite Desync going away, that came out today. Oh yeah, yeah, it did come out today. It came out today. I hope that gets more eyes on Halo. Yeah. Like I truly hope it does because it feels so good to play, and I think it's cracked enough for some of these Call of Duty players to go out and just check out. Yeah, so you're like a gamer gamer. I, I've been I, I the first game that I like was super super into was Halo Two on on oh, on, okay. on OG Xbox in two thousand four. Yeah, that's a great start. Halo Two. You always know it, you always man. know someone's legit when they say that. Halo <laughs> that's Two. Where every, that's where two thousand four. A lot of legends got their start so, on Halo it's Two. So real, man. Yeah. <laughs> it was so real. Like I knew about BXR. Yeah, I knew about that, and like the button combos in that game was so sweaty. Yeah, and um, yeah, like. Dude, there's like a resurgence. There's people playing OG Halo 2 on Xbox again. Really? Yeah. On like, on like, like MCC? Custom, it's, no, it's not like MCC. It's like the original Xbox. Oh, uh, didn't they? Didn't they kill all the bro? They, there's like servers? a team. There's like a team that reverse engineered servers. No, and like they brought it back, dude. <laughs> no, dude. yeah. Can you believe that? Oh my god. Yeah. So in a couple months ago, uh, like I would say like eight months ago, nine months ago, um. Because actually, it was probably more than more than a year ago now. Uh, regardless, uh, there was a game that was going to be coming out. Um, SM two. SM two. Yeah, SM2. yeah. SM two. Dude, then, I'm, I'm locked into this. You're man. locked yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, I'm locked into this, bro. So SM two was going to be like a brand so new shit, uh, fan made Call of Duty using all Call of Duty assets. Yeah. And there was also a team that made uh, a game or that made Modern Warfare two on the PC. Um, Ilex. IWX yeah, yeah. I, I w, IW4X is what. It, yeah, yeah. IW4X. I, I can't bro. believe you're, you're you know all this shit. So yeah, <laughs> IW4X was a uh, Modern Warfare 2 2009 game that was ported to the PC that you allowed you to use aim assist, and it stopped all the hackers because on Steam they had, an, they had anti cheat. They had anti cheat. Dude, yo, fan I got a built. I got a vac ban because of this. I, I got like one. I was using a leveler. And okay. then two, I also almost got ratted on the official Steam servers on Modern Warfare 2. Okay. So now that VAC ban is sitting on my Steam account to this day. <laughs> to this day, okay. And so like, I tried playing Counter-Strike, and, like, and then they tried talking talk and smack, and like, bro, why you got a VAC ban? I'm like, it was Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> it was Call of Duty. It was Call of Duty. And Leave me alone. There's nothing CS people hate nothing more than Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, <laughs> straight up. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, IW4X comes out, and uh, Activision cease and desist them, like, Boom, gone. You can't, you cannot play IW4X. And then there was a team of people that found out how to manually input servers. And so they got rid of the client completely. You can't hit play, but you can go into the game files, <laughs> type in the server you want to play, and, and then hit works. enter. And the server is still live. And there's still like 30 people that play in the server. See, but that's like, like, there are nerds yeah. out there just trying their hardest to make us have fun. I know. I know. Like, and that's a, that's the thing too. It's like, why, why don't you play the newest thing? You know, that's, that's yeah. a question. A lot of people that question, it's like, you 100%. see, you see me playing Guitar Hero 2. It's like, why don't you just play Festival or why don't you play Clone Hero? It's like, you don't get it. Yeah. I don't, don't want to. get it. Yeah. I don't want to. You don't <laughs> get it. Like, it's, it's like, why are you? Much as that, simple as that. It's in like, I'm sure people were watching you play Modern Warfare 2 on the Xbox. Yeah. You know, like when it came out, it's like, why are you doing this when MW3 is out? Or like, it's about to come out. It's like. If I could, pl if I could make a living playing Modern Warfare 2 2009, I would play it every day. Yeah. I would play it every single day. Yeah. <laughs> and that's where I've, that's where I feel, I, I feel so like grateful it's like if i wanted yeah. to drop everything and play guitar hero 3 all the time you could do it i can just do it that's awesome i can absolutely <laughs> do it man like it, it's just it's it's crazy the the parallels here. yeah like, for sure so absolutely funny. is yeah does um uh does uh, did activision ever crack because activision cracks down especially on mods they they haven't allowed a mod in oh, yeah. in call of duty and since cod 4 yeah do they crack down on on modded games in uh 
for like modded Guitar Hero games? They they have not done it since 2007. Okay, they so haven't they, done since they tried at the beginning. They tried in the beginning. There was this fan made game called Guitar Zero, <laughs> and it looked exactly like Guitar Hero Two. Right, and it was like right after Guitar Hero Two came out for like the Xbox 360. So it was their first re release. They got Activisioned on that one. It came, came out on PS2 like a year prior, and then when the Xbox 360 came out, and uh, they they were just like, oh yeah, you know, how about we remaster the game? That was like the first time like a Guitar Hero game was like remastered. People don't think people don't like talk about that enough. Yeah, it was a full on re release with like ten new songs. It was crazy. Yeah, at the time, like, but people don't know about that. And like the graphics were different. It was on a new new console and all this stuff. And so, and Activision had just acquired Harmonics and yeah. or like Red Octane. Red Octane was like the they were the masterminds behind Guitar Hero. That it was their baby, their vision. Okay. And so they they purchased Red Octane, but Harmonics was still developing. And so. Um, someone made like a clone for that version of the game, cease and desisted immediately. Immediately. Just so fast. And like it also didn't help that it kind of just took the the look of the like the exact assets from the game, the images, and just slapped it into a PC game and just like called it a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, there there were better clones that 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 did it. Um funny thing is about clone heroes that that's just an asset rip game. Like the gameplay yeah. that comes from Guitar Hero Wars of Rock. If you look at it's gameplay of Guitar Hero Wars of Rock, that's from 2010. And you look at it and it's like, oh, that's Clone Hero. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like if you pull if you pull it up, then you show you show hit, you'd be like, that's just Clone Hero. I'm like, side, no, that's that's the whole ass game. Side by side yeah, of uh, side by side Clone Hero and Heroes of Rock. Warriors of Rock. Warriors of Rock. Warriors of Rock. Okay, okay. And like that game is awesome too. But like you, you look at it and you're just like, man, they they didn't do much with this. But yeah. Everything else that's offered with Clone Hero, it's not like they have the characters dancing in the background or you know yeah. a crowd cheering you on. It's just bored, black screen or like a, a like an image or something. Yes. Um, but yeah, I was kind of surprised that Activision didn't do anything about it because Activ uh, was Clone Hero came out two years after Guitar Hero Live. I see. I I I have no idea. So after Guitar, Guitar Hero three, I couldn't tell you what came out. So yeah, <laughs> what didn't come out. So you, you know you don't know about like DJ Hero? Do you know about like I was DJ about Hero? I was just about to ask you about DJ Hero. So I, what's crazy is that DJ Hero had two games. Okay. And they actually got enough money for a sequel out of that. Okay. And that was already at a point where it'd be like, there's too many Guitar Hero games. So what's going on? Yeah. And so you have Band Hero, and that had Taylor Swift, Adam Levine. Their ba likeness is band, in that game. Band Hero? Yeah. It's different than rock band. Different than rock it's band. It's band, it's Guitar Hero's version of rock band. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm it was it was appealing board. to like a pop friendly, you yeah. know, family friendly audience. Okay. Like it had like it had like Marvin Gaye, Maroon Five. Okay. Three Taylor Swift songs were in that game. Awesome. Swifties. They li they licensed three Taylor Swift master tracks, stems and everything. She's probably still getting paid from that. And she is <laughs> she herself is in there with like a signature oh. guitar, in like 2008. So this is like on her come up mm -hmm. while she was, but she was already like a superstar. Um, okay. Yeah, see that's Band Hero. See Taylor, there she is. Band Hero. Oh wow, that's her in the game. Taylor Swift, right yep. there in Band Hero. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and so she <laughs> she did that. a commercial for the game. Okay. With Weezer. Okay. <laughs> of <laughs> all, <laughs> all bands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was to that scene in Risky Business where it's like uh, that Bob Seger track, and he, she slides in on on socks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a that's a Guitar Hero commercial? That was a Guitar Hero commercial. I didn't even know that. They did so many commercials because it went viral. Yeah. Back in two thousand eight. That risky business. Take um, those old records off the shelf. And it's funny that song wasn't even in the game. Really, yeah, it was no, just no, the no. commercial. It, they sold it as DLC. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh, my headphones came unplugged. Uh, oh no. Are we good? Are we good? Oh no, some, something unplugged. Something. Oh, try oh, this. Oh, is this? Try is that. This? Oh, we good. We good. We good. We good. We good. Okay. Sorry about that. No, you're good. <laughs> um, AMF's hidden. All right. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. No, I was. I was saying like. Yeah, Activision, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> right, right. Let's let's make the people pay for what they saw mm -hmm. in that commercial, bro. Like So talk to me about it. DJ Hero. Is that So like, okay, a good game? What I'm with DJ Hero is it is a good game. It, it's tight, but the developers of the game were called like Freestyle Games. That 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 was the name of that company. Okay. Um they signed on to make a Guitar Hero revival in 2015 okay. called Guitar Hero Live. Okay. And the biggest mistake that they made there was changing the formula. You know how it's like the five buttons. Yeah. 
Instead, what they did is they took away the five buttons and they did three on top, three on the bottom. Three on top, three on the bottom. Can you look up one? Wait, is that do those the, Guitar Hero Live? Guitar Hero Live guitars? Yeah. Okay. You look at it; it's cursed. Look at that. Oh, I have seen these. Yeah. When I was looking for off-season guitars, I kept seeing these, and I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck are these?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. See, okay. I actually like the gameplay. So you can make chords. Yes. Yeah, so is what they were trying you to could go. Lay your finger flat, and you could do a chord. Uh, so you do like bar, like a bar chords, chord. You do like yeah. a bar chord. The power chords actually feel like power chords. You do you play like, guitar? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I play guitar. Okay, so okay. I, I know. Yeah. You make bar chords. It feels like kind of natural. In a okay. Way. Yeah. But the thing is that made like Guitar Hero so <laughs> fun is that it wasn't like a real guitar. Exactly. Not even yeah, a little yeah. bit. And this is like too close to a real guitar. Yeah. It looks like a guitar trainer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It looks like, you know, like if you look on like Temu. <laughs> they have like one of those chord, yes. chord practice It lights things. up. It like lights it up and it's just like, like, okay, here's how you do a G. Here's a D. Yeah. Here's, here's, a, how, here's a C. Yeah. Here's an F. You got to do it like this. Yeah. If you want to do the bar way or if you want to do it yes, this way. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you know what's up. So... <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's it's that that's kind of like what ruined Guitar Hero for Activision for okay. years. Was that game? Was that game? It only sold a hundred thousand copies, mm. and that was the revival. That was gonna that was that gonna was, be like yeah. they had they had like artists co-signing that game. And be like, yeah, like Avenged Sevenfold. They were like, yo, you know, we would like to, uh, you know, in maybe in the future showcase some of our premiere new music. On this new Guitar Hero game like that, that'd be great. That'd be cool. We're yeah. thinking about it. Def Leppard premiered like a music video in their like streaming service, oh, their man. live service. They you had two much, modes, man. How much money is <laughs> flowing around behind the scenes? I can't even imagine. Yeah, Activision goes they to Avenged Sevenfold. Away. They're like, "Hey, we'll pay you a hundred grand to make a song for Guitar Hero, or just like have us premiere it, or yeah." Like, let, like I thing, can't even imagine how much money w goes into games like this. W with music licensing and likeness licensing, it's so much. Oh my God, Taylor Swift is in the game. Like what? Like that's. I don't know what. I don't know what type of money they had. Yeah. Not only was it Taylor Swift, it was lead singer Maroon Five, and the entire band of No Doubt was in Gwen the Stefani. Band. Gwen <laughs> Stefani and her entourage of oh. No Doubt in that day and age. So they're all old too. Yeah, they're all old in that. And oh that actually God. led to a lawsuit because they didn't read like their agreements correctly or whoever was con like working on their contract okay. didn't read something correctly. And what you could do is you could play other songs that weren't by No Doubt as, as No, no Doubt. doubt. <laughs> And so that was like a really so ugly playing, get rich or die trying. Exactly. But whoever whoever did Taylor's contract, they cooked because you can't have her sing uh, a Metallica song. You oh. can't have, show her singing a Metallica song. Thank you. Man. Whereas no doubt you can have them probably backup singing, uh, you know, uh, Elton John. Yeah, <laughs> Elton John, bro. Like it, it's it's absolutely nuts. You guys, I'm about to finish right this. You're, you're, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Dude, there's. I didn't real. I don't think I realized how rich of a history, uh, Guitar Hero rock band had. I didn't realize that there was a there was a, a changing of the tide in companies. I don't think I realized. I mean, I didn't realize. I definitely didn't realize how many games there have been Bro. until you know last November. I had my, no idea. My my favorite to tell is that um, guitar. You know the Tony Hawk games. Yeah. So Guitar Hero Three is built off of a Tony Hawk engine. Okay. <laughs> it's built off of Tony Hawk's Proving Grounds engine. <laughs> wow. Because Neversoft were the developers of the game, and so they just took that engine and they slapped a rhythm game on top of it. And it worked out. I mean, that gave me a have. billion dollars. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. That was like, it was Guitar Hero 3 is the first game to make a billion dollars. Yeah. In, historically. Wow. No, nothing can ever take that away from Guitar Hero 3. That's true. First game to make a billion dollars. And it also helped because, you know, they're selling games with like a guitar controller. Yeah. It retailed for like a hundred bucks. So like it absolutely helped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you know, people were going out, they just got their Xbox three sixty, now they're gonna get a guitar controller in a game, hundred bucks. Yeah. You know? So the uh, we went on a tangent again. So I know, so, dude, it's, it happens. No, it, it's fine. So DJ DJ Hero was supposed to be the revival after Cursed Guitar Game. No, no, no. Okay, so DJ Hero came out the same time. The same Taylor, time. Okay, same okay. time Taylor Swift Band Hero came out. Okay, okay. So it, they were trying to make this multiverse of oh, hero games. Okay. That was, that was their tagline. It was Blank Hero. Blank Hero. They want Band Hero, DJ, DJ hero. hero, 
They wanted drum hero. They wanted okay. singing hero. <laughs> Not even kidding. Like okay. they wanted this stuff. Band hero was gonna get a sequel. Band Hero <laughs> like, 2. Yeah, Band Hero 2. <laughs> okay. DJ Hero got a sequel. That was DJ Hero 2. Okay. And so, like, yeah, this this freestyle games company that made the DJ Hero games, yeah. um, they succeeded with DJ Hero 1, and then DJ Hero 2 absolutely flopped. But wow. that game was fire, though. Yeah. It had, like, a bunch of club bangers. It had, it had like, like Dead Mouse, like, official okay. Dead Mouse exclusive mixes that, like, even he himself like liked so much it's on his Spotify. It's crazy. Really? Yeah. It was like DJ Hero mix of I think it's called like Remember Remembered Remember Me. I think that's the name of the song. Yeah. Like you'll find it. It's a banger. So um So are there people are there people still playing DJ yeah. Hero? DJ Hero yeah, yeah, Community? Yeah. This is a DJ Hero community. They use a PlayStation 3 emulator on PC. <laughs> And they, they hook it up with that. We're oh, dedicated, I man. love hearing about We're you guys. so dedicated. You guys are very dedicated. Yes, because it's addicting. These games yeah, yeah, are yeah. addicting, and they're satisfying, and you get that instant gratification of, like, I see note, I hit note, they go away. Yeah. That's so nice. So nice. It's so nice. It's the almost way, like playing real note, but fake note but better. But fake note better, <laughs> right? Yes, absolutely. Fake note, very fun. I mean, like, real note, like, you know, Rocksmith. You know, you, you've heard of Rocksmith, the Ubisoft? Yes. Yeah. Is that the one with the like damn near real looking guitar? You can get any guitar that has a uh, input jack. Okay, yes. And then you plug in their adapter. You hook it into your PC. It like works like a microphone. Yeah. And then it teaches you guitar. Right. Essentially, it's a, it's like your own guitar teacher. And then the way that it looks, it's essentially just Guitar Hero, but it looks real like guitar. a game. And then also you got people going like, why don't you just play Rocksmith? I want to. I don't want to. I, <laughs> I want, want fake to. fake note. I want better. fake note. Fake I get note happy better. from fake note. <laughs> <laughs> I get happy from fake note. I sometimes I get happy from real real Rocksmith. Note. Real note. Real note. I, I play bass too. Oh, okay, I play guitar okay. and bass, and like those are really really fun. Yeah. And, um, you know, and, and it's funny that you mentioned like real note and fake note because when um, the third Rock Band game came out in 2010, they introduced this mode called Pro Drums, and it would make the cymbals on a drum set their own note. Compared to like a snare, two toms, and a floor tom. Okay. The two toms and floor tom were their own notes, and the cymbals were their own notes too. So when you're playing pro drums, you're playing the real fucking transcription. Yeah. Essentially. It's like like if you played it and then you moved to a real kit and you looked at the note chart that you're just playing on pro drums, probably like 80% of the time it's wow. like. Like see, you're gonna sound one to one. I, I see, like I said, I didn't play guitar hero very much, but having grown up playing guitar. It's actually, it's it, it's actually like weird how some guitar hero feels like it could be guitar. Yeah, and some I, I have something to talk about yeah, with yeah. that too. So in Guitar Hero Three, there's a Slipknot song called "Before I Forget." Okay, and there's a really infamous section in the song where it's just split chords the whole time. Yeah, and you're just like, how does somebody do this? But the intended way to do it was to only keep your fingers, your index and ring finger like this, and you slide up and down. Right. You slide up and down the fretboard. But people obviously didn't see it like that. They were trying to do like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but the the, the person that like tracked the notes for the song was like, I'm trying to adapt that real guitar feel to the song. No matter how bad it looks to a guitar hero player, I'm still gonna do it. Yeah. And he did that for both that slipknot song. And uh, uh, Rise Against track in the game too, because that's how the real guitar. Because that's play. how that's how the real guitar yeah. play it, and that's like the last time we ever saw something like that too. Yeah, but does that trans does that translate well? Because I'm thinking of slow. I've only played Slow Ride and More Than a Feeling. And, yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't dude. played anything too crazy, but even like because Boston's my favorite band, so I I dude, see. Let's go. I see let's more. Go. I see more than a feeling, and I'm like, I want to play that one, and yeah, so man. I'm playing at main event with Alexis, and I'm like, oh my, like this. It's not obviously it can't be perfect, but there are parts where I'm like, this feels like the song, like the actual song. Yeah, like more than a feeling, it goes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It feels it feels very. Right. It's the it's the power it's chord. It's the split chord. Right, yeah. The split chords are the power chords. Yeah. Not the together ones. Not the ones that are like lane one and two both right. together. But it's like the green and yellow. Yes. Red and blue, yellow and orange. It and is. like that's that's probably what they were like. They're like, oh shit, we cooked with this one. Yeah. They <laughs> like, probably we didn't did say that because it was two thousand like five. Yeah. That probably. came out. Like, oh, we this nailed was it. gnarly. Yeah. This was gnarly. <laughs> 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 that 
that was sick. <laughs> that's this is tight. Like, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, that's yeah, no. I mean, like, but I I totally know what you mean. Yeah. But when when it came to that Slipknot song, they're just like, yo. Let's just make this feel like a real guitar. When you play octaves on, yeah. on a guitar, it has like this really distinct um, type of sound. You know, it's a yeah, low yeah. and a high note at the same time. And so it's just like they charted it that way. That's how yeah. they did it. But other than that, Guitar Hero isn't like, it yeah. just helps with finger dexterity and stamina. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay, so before uh, let's, because we're kind of winding down on the action, on, on the around the bar, and then of course we got the the, I don't know if what we're gonna what are we gonna call it, Matt Primo, because the the art guys call it Primo, we can't call it that. Yeah, we can't call it primo. <laughs> Maybe we call it the extended clip. I like that. Bang sure, bang yeah. extended clip. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll call it something. Um, but um, that that'll be on the the Patreon. But I I do want to kind of dive in a little bit on your on your content because yeah, man. you are you know you're you're so s- successful when it comes to Guitar Hero and, and rhythm games, and it's always a very light hearted way of doing it. And we but first of all, let's talk about the video. Let's talk about Sicko Mode. But I think I got the wrong. Yeah, okay. I'm sure you've been asked about this video a gazillion times. No, not really. Okay. I mean, people just think I just played a silly track. <laughs> but there's actually like a little bit of a backstory. There's some to lore. It. There's actually just kind of a little bit of, some, of a backstory to it. There's some dicko mode lore. Guys. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Okay, so weeks before Astro World even like no Astro World was already out. Like the mm-hmm. album was out. I was getting like I saw this recommended like page on my YouTube, and it was. I don't know. I think it was like, uh, what's that song? It goes, woo, 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 uh, Tyga. Woo, woo, woo. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, you, you, yeah. yeah. I don't know what, it's Tyga. Yeah. yeah, it is Tyga. Uh, I know taste. what you're talking about. Taste. Yeah, taste. taste. Let me get a taste. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was a, a gay parody of it. Okay. And so that, that was like what was going viral at the time. Yeah. And so I saw that and I was like, I wonder if that guy is going to make anything for Travis Scott. <laughs> and then one day he does do Sick of Mode, and then we're about to watch. I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to listen to this. Yeah. I want it. I want to react to it on stream. Okay. And then my buddy at the time makes a chart, like, oh, lays so it out. you got it charted. I got it charted, and I was like, do you oh think? I was God. like, do you think you can? Do you think you can chart this? And then they're like, okay. And then they send it to me, and then it was like regular Sigma. I was like, I, okay, well, that's fine. And then <laughs> they did the switch up. That wasn't my. I don't that, think. Okay, yeah, no, that was not my idea at so all. So sicko mode. Okay, because when I was watching it, it's sicko mode for it's the first up, half. Just sicko mode for the first half, and then and then it, it was a switch up right when Drake comes in. That's dope. So you got it charted. See, I thought I got I it. I thought ch- you found it on the no, store. No, no, no. So like, my only, my only, uh, uh, just to give you a little. Backstory. My my only uh, experience in any sort of rhythm game where you can download custom tracks is uh, Beat Saber. Yeah, and on Beat Saber, you go in and you you you, don't, you download it. There's a download and there's a there's a <coughs> top list. Mm-hmm. And so I thought you found Sicko Mode on the top list and hit download. And no. it was and somebody had trolled you. No, but I you mean, got like, it. I still got trolled. Yeah, you did get trolled. Yeah, yeah, I did get trolled because I thought it was just going to be the gay version all the way through. <laughs> But then they kind of double trolled me because they gave me the re- regular version and then it went back. And then it still and I was like, shocked oh my, you. I was like, oh my God, this is horrible. <laughs> this is actually insane. Yeah. Like the, the notes were horrible and then what I was hearing was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah. And, and, so, and then there we go. And the rest is history. And then boom. So you upload that. And did you have any idea? I mean, so I, think, I think I had a hit on my hands. Yeah. I did. Okay. Because I, I, I had felt that way before with like a video and, and uploading it. Like, I think I got a hit on my hands. Yeah. And that I mean, I don't feel like off. that anymore because like now I'm, I'm like comfy. I, I'm like kind of just doing my own thing. Yeah. I'm like just kind of grinding and just like putting, putting myself out there. It's kind of like, kind, it's kind of like gone back around in a way. I'm just okay. kind of putting a video out a day and yeah. then just people know who I am. Sprinkle in my, sprinkle in my, like my personality and stuff. And yeah. They'll come to the streams. They'll see I'm actually like this. You know, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. And, no, but just when that happened, I was like, "Man, I'm gonna, I gotta upload this." Yeah, you gotta. It's gotta be fun. It's really funny the way that it, <laughs> it turned out because visually, you got all these notes on the screen, and then he's saying "jerk on his Jimmy" <laughs> back in high school. 
<laughs> I used to jerk him with my hands. <laughs> yeah. And He's going crazy. And Shout you're out to hitting. Kuso, Kuso Rare is the name of the guy that did all of it. He recently reacted to that video. Really? Yeah. One of my <laughs> one of my subscribers just like linked him the video. And he was like, man, this got four like the guy four, who yeah. made the the guy who made the parody like saw the video and was like, dude, forty million views on this video? He's like, that's that's an honor. I'm like, yeah. that's cool as fuck too. That's so that's cool wild. as fuck. <laughs> Jerking on his gym. Jerking on his Jimmy. <laughs> And D- then dicks over rice is the other good. That's the dicks other one. Dicks over <laughs> rice. That's oh yes. And you went dicks over rice. Yes, dicks over rice. It's like what the what the hell? What are you talking about, bro? Dude, and that's probably that video. Forty million raw views on your channel. Imagine how many that has ripped and oh, p- posted. Probably other close places. to a billion. Yeah, easily. Cl- probably close to a billion. Because like, I, you will know my face. Yeah, like, I've off seen of it. That. I've it's seen my it on, face in it. You know, yeah, it's probably been on hoops highlights or house of highlights. It's probably been it's been on every Instagram meme page. Instagram fuck, meme page. Fuck Jerry is probably it's probably exactly. Been there, you know? And like, and it gets lower quality each yeah. time. Yes. Every it time they rip so, it, it just looks so crusty <laughs> yeah, each time. And that's it's like, so that's funny. My, that's my favorite part is how crusty it looks. It's like, <laughs> yeah, they definitely screen recorded on top of screen record, screen record, yes. screen record, yeah, yeah, all of that stuff. And that's it's just so like good. some some social media guys just like, man, we're doing this for the fifth time. On this. <laughs> <laughs> on this page, dude, is it really the, is it my turn to post the sicko mode, the wrong version That's, video? It's a really, I mean, it's such a such a good video. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll be asked about that video for a very long time. One day, my daughter's gonna grow up and be like, Dad, what is this you? No, no, shh, shh. that's not me. <laughs> that's not, that me. Is not me. <laughs> that is a different. That is a different. <laughs> I, I think. I think my favorite. Uh, you know, as much as that's that one blew up, I think my favorite is you playing the sh- the whole entire Shrek movie. <laughs> I think that is fucking amazing. We, that we have, is we have another movie planned. We have another movie what, planned. What movie is we're next? Gonna do, we're either going to do Shrek 2 or like B-Movie. B-Movie. Yeah, Dude, you got B-Movie, B-movie, B-movie movie. might take off. <laughs> B-Movie might take off. Because because it's so funny. I'm guessing it's Clone Hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're you're playing, and I don't I don't know if you can pull it up, Matt. But you're playing, and you've got a little bit of the movie playing over the fretboard. Dude, board. not even a little bit. It's it's <laughs> full. It's dead ass the whole movie. It's How not. Did you no get edits. away with that? I streamed it on Kick, dude. <laughs> I streamed it on Kick. <laughs> I did not know that. I streamed it on Kick. That's why there was like a live audience. Like, yeah. And I was like talking to people the whole time. And so like you saw that super cut over on YouTube. It's like I have seen the whole entire Shrek movie in one yeah. sitting. Yeah. 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 And and yeah, I live streamed on Kick because they had oh. no copyright laws and people were just watching. Like the biggest streamers on there were like watching movies. And so like, it's what? Just, it's just the sh- it's, it's just, just Shrek. Shrek. There's no edits. <laughs> No and edits. you played the whole movie. Yep, the whole. And movie. you got. I didn't miss a note. And you didn't miss a I didn't note. I missed a note. No. So, so you have the record probably still, and you didn't get this charted. No, no, no. This is just something this that's is, existed. That's existed. And that I have promised my audience that yeah. I would do one day. <laughs> and so, <laughs> I think it's on Beat Saber too. Yeah, it is on. It, yeah. the whole meme started with Beat Saber because okay, I remember okay. when somebody mapped that, like charted that out. Yeah. And I was like, that's the whole Shrek movie. <laughs> But like there was no visuals in the background, so you couldn't tell what was going on. Yeah. But instead, you're just going, you're like to the oh my you know, god, to the music in the background. You're just swinging your arms. Was there ever so what, what was the hardest part? Was there ever a part where you were like, oh god, what? No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. It's just such a weird. You were just watching it. I was just watching. I was just watching the okay. movie. With my chat, see that's Kick Chat up there. That is okay. The see, yeah, I had no idea it was Kick. That's yeah. so funny. But what's funny is that people were coming through to my Twitch channel and chatting in there and resubscribing. Okay, even though I wasn't technically streaming on there, and oh, I was, just, and they were just up there in the other corner and they were making so the alerts good. go off. And I was like, you know, what I, I love, I love that there's a leaderboard on the left too, so you can yeah. see where you're at currently as far as overall score. Yeah. And poor, poor. Uh, Dosi ninety three, <laughs> you just completely blew up their spot. Like I wasn't planning on a professional guitar hero player coming in and taking my Shrek <laughs> Shrek movie. <laughs> That's so good. And that you know what's so good. you know what's funny? It's like people use this as a medium to wa- like they use Clone Hero as a medium to watch movies on a stream. Really? Like on TikTok, it's like a huge thing. Like sometimes I'll just be scrolling and then. <laughs> The title of the stream is Movie Night, and it, I see a Clone Hero board. <laughs> I see a Clone are Hero they, board. Are they even playing? Sometimes they're not playing. 
I saw one where a guy was just straight up not playing. There was no notes, but Home Alone was playing in the background. <laughs> and I was like, that's crazy. He just watched the whole entire... No, bro was asleep on stream. He was and just and asleep. He was just asleep. He had like that's a thousand. So he had good. like a thousand viewers, two thousand viewers. It's like, it's not real. It's yeah. It doesn't feel real, right? You know, yeah. when people are live streaming, like watching movies and stuff and, and all that, we clone here as a medium. That's like kind of brand new to me, even though I've known they've been doing it for like a couple years now. That's why those movies get charted. It's for yeah. the, the TikTok live streamers. That's what it's for. Wow. Yeah. That's it's just it's so wild to think that like whenever I, what was the first ever rhythm game like DDR or something or yeah who I mean knows? like the first ever guitar rhythm game was Guitar Freaks Good, yeah yeah Guitar Freaks which is like still going on that's like that's like a game that still exists and you know the, the, you the guys rhythm, never you yeah, guys never stop game, yeah like the rhythm game scene over the, in in the east is like they're completely different oh they don't, yeah they yeah. don't milk it dry like activision did <laughs> they do like live service updates and yeah. all this stuff and it's like okay this is coming out next year and all the songs are going to change so get in your get in like your plays and stuff yeah so like imagine if you had guitar Hero three and it was just guitar Hero three forever and then it's like all right through the fire and flames is leaving we're going to add another 300 songs though that, that sounds sick to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. But at the same time, I don't, I don't know if I like the rotating like set list type of thing. But if it if it meant that I just get three hundred more songs just yeah. chilling, that's kind of cool. But yeah. like they, they they're built different over there. Like I don't understand the first thing about Eastern rhythm gaming. Like, yeah, they're just cracked. Oh, it's dude, cracked. It's so what's, like, what's sound, the vo sound Voltex is the one the game? What's the game where the mouse and the keys? Oh yeah, Osu. Osu. About Osu. So, yeah, it's different. That's, I don't that's even also different too. That's crazy. I don't even understand what I'm watching when I yeah. see that. I think like Aim Labs turned into a rhythm game. Yeah. Like that's what it. That's what it. That's kinda, what it looks like. Kind of yeah. pretty much is for like a lot of people. Right. It's because they see that they're able to you know pinpoint their mouse movements. Yeah. And then people play it so much they're like, oh sh oh shit, I'm just like that guy. That guy's head over there looks like an Osu note. <laughs> Yeah. And so, Dude, yeah. Did you ever that. get into a point where you would close your eyes and see notes? Often. Yeah. It's no, no. Like to this day, like to often. this day, to this day, like often. <laughs> I sometimes I, I have like dreams sometimes. about like, dreams about like some patterns or whatever. It's, it's crazy. It's I because I used to play Tetris a, a lot. Oh, I've had the Tetris effect. And dude, myself, when you man. when you like when you play so much and then you close your eyes and you like literally can't sleep because you're just seeing you're seeing the t the can i do the t-spin exactly. here? T here can i put a long piece right here yep. okay i made a space for the long piece exactly straight in. oh i got a tetris i got a tetris i haven't slept in five days but here's a tetris that's what it feels like no, i'm I, that way no, i'm that I way with that actually i'm that way right now with minesweeper as weird as that wow. is i've been playing minesweeper, minesweeper. yeah because yeah. i had never played i i had never like figured out how to play it and then yeah. the other day, Blake lagged out a stream, so George and I are just chilling, and we're playing like uh, mini games on like this flash. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I see Minesweeper. I was like, Chad, I've never beaten Minesweeper. I don't even know how to play it. Mm -hmm. So I clicked it, and I played it, and then it took two or three times, but eventually I beat it. And like we were like, ah, That's and Chad was like, yeah, awesome. I love. And that. ever since then, I like downloaded it on my phone, <laughs> and now I'm playing Minesweeper all the time. And I close my eyes, and I see one, two, two, one, two, and I'm like, one. There's a bomb here. There's gonna be a bomb. <laughs> Minesweeper effect. Like, bro. what the fuck is going on? I've never with me? played Minesweeper, so I might, I might. Don't I'm, do it. I'm kind of inspired. <laughs> I'm kind of inspired. Matt's on the Minesweeper wave too. <laughs> I saw him playing in the office. No, nah, no, bro. Like, but the Tetris effect is so real. Yeah. It's like, oftentimes, where I'm just like kind of feeling mentally low. Kind of like I load up Tetris. Yeah. And I just like, I need a refresh. Yeah. Let's, let's, you know, like, let's make, let's put ourselves into a shit storm and get ourselves out of it. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. So you get it. It's just us versus the machine. Us That's versus not the machine. against a player. It's yeah. not, a, it's us versus ourselves versus the machine. That's really all That's Tetris so real. is. That's so real. Yeah. <laughs> It's so real. All right. Well, I think that is going to do it for this part of Around the Bar. If you guys want to watch the Extendo clip, it'll be over on the Patreon. Uh, we'll we'll continue talking about Guitar Hero Rhythm Games. Um, but if that's going to do it for you guys, thank you so much, Asai, for coming on. Thank you for having out. me, bro. Cheers. An AMF and a half deep. And I'm, we're, I'm and we're chatting. We're, we're vibing. vibing. Thank yeah, you, man, for coming on. It's been yeah, fun. It's an honor, dude. Seriously. We'll see you in the Extendo clip. Bye, guys. Bye.